Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Marvel. Transformation into Superwoman starts with Marvel the D. Chapter 41. Of course, Selena didn't know that Han Chuya had gone to rest, and she thought that Han Chuya had gone out at night to do chivalrous deeds. You're the cat, you were so interested in teasing me when you caught me before, and now you're ignoring me. Selena muttered quietly. At the same time, the Marvel world. Natasha seized the opportunity and found Fiora, who had just defeated a gang of gangsters, and hurriedly asked, where has your queen Han Chuya been recently? Why hasn't she been seen lately, can you tell me where she has gone? Fiora was now surrounded by more than a dozen people. The last man tried to escape, but Fiora kicked him down, stomped on the last man with one foot, and stomped the gangster to the floor. Turning to Natasha, she replied, the queen's whereabouts are not a secret, right? Iron Man, and your director should know, didn't your director tell you? The queen has traveled to another universe. Quote. What? Natasha was surprised, thinking to herself, what a scumbag, I still want to find you, and you won't come to me to say goodbye. Natasha was a little upset, who helped you get acquainted with this place in the first place? Helping you buy something. I still pity you in my heart at that time, just like me, you are a lonely person, very lonely. And this director of the boiled egg, he doesn't take the initiative to inform me if there is news. Natasha felt a little lost and lonely for some reason, it must be because of my identity as an agent that she didn't pay much attention to me later. Fiora also missed Han Chuya, and the strength under her feet relaxed, Queen. When will you be back? I want to fight alongside you, and there are Kryptonian people from another world, waiting for you to lead them to the new world. B. Gangster felt Fiora relax and took the opportunity to break free. Fiora let go of her foot and let him run forward towards Natasha. The gangsters wanted to capture Natasha as his hostage. However, he underestimated the strength of this top agent. Just as he was about to catch Natasha, Natasha quickly threw an over-the-shoulder backhand and threw the gangster directly to the ground. Still want to do it with me? Natasha looked condescendingly at the gangster who fell to the ground and moaned, and said coldly. The fighting skills are good, but they are slightly inferior to me, and the physique is much worse than us kryptonite. Fiora said, looking at Natasha. Natasha nodded, not minding Fiora's assessment. The Marvel world already has many loyal fans of Han Chuya, and some have even formed teams. It was a long time since Han Chuya had appeared, which made them all very worried. After more than a dozen true love fans contacted each other, they got together to discuss. Why hasn't Supergirl appeared for so long, is she on some secret mission? One fan speculated. I'm worried if Supergirl is in trouble and needs our help. Another fan said nervously. Superwomen are in trouble how can we help with our strength? It shouldn't be fine, Superwoman is so powerful, she will definitely be able to save the day. Someone comforted, we can only believe in the goddess and look forward to her reappearance. Fans sighed and prayed silently in their hearts. They firmly believe that the goddess Superman will be safe. Because Superwoman is so powerful, the quality of a single hair is so strong, not to mention how strong the strength will be. Finding that Selena had finished watching the video, Blue Fire drove to Selena's side in the form of a sports car. Miss Selena, the master said that if you want to go back, let me send you, and she will come back to you tomorrow. Selena was a little embarrassed, she was still complaining about her just now, this transformer is coming, it shouldn't hear her broken thoughts, right? Will it tell her about her complaints? After she knew. Forget it, why do I think so much? Whatever. Selena was quiet for a moment and replied, Okay, then please send me back, I'm sorry for you, Mr. Transformers. I have a name, please call me Blue Fire directly. Okay, Blue Fire. Selena walked to the driver's door of Blue Fire with long legs. The moment she approached, the car door opened automatically. Okay, you're a Transformer, it's normal to have an automatic door opening function. Selena stepped up her long legs and sat elegantly in the spacious cabin of the Blue Fire, lamenting that the interior space of this Transformer is much more spacious than other sports cars, and the seats are also very comfortable. Are you free to change the interior space? Selena asked curiously. Yes, I can transform as I want, and I can change the robot, not to mention adjust the layout and space inside the cabin. Blue Fire replied. That's so convenient. 
Selena said, it's a great blessing for the owner of a car like yours to have it. Quote. I'm happy to be able to offer a comfortable travel experience. Blue Fire said politely. Ding, congratulations to the host. Gain 88 reputation from Selena. Quote. Ding, congratulations to the host. Gain 92 reputation from Passerby A. Quote. Ding, congratulations to the host. Gain reputation of 27 from Passerby B. Quote. Ding, congratulations to the host. Quote. In the Marvel world, all kinds of videos about Han Chuya are still spreading, and people are constantly watching. Han Chuya's reputation value also continued to soar silently in the system. However, Han Chuya turned on the silent mode. She slept peacefully, undisturbed. Han Chuya, who was sleeping, had a sweet dream, and the corners of her mouth rose slightly, little kitten, I caught it again. Selena leaned comfortably in the driver's seat, and Blue Fire drove steadily and autonomously, neither fast nor slow. After a few minutes, Selena asked, Blue Fire, can you let me drive? Selena had already driven Blue Fire once before, so she knew how powerful this transformer could be. It only takes 0.4 seconds for the Blue Fire to go from a standstill to 100 km per hour, and the top speed can even reach Mach 3. This is simply unthinkable for human vehicles. So Selena simply can't put down blue fire. She is looking forward to experiencing this intense driving experience like no other again. Just thinking of blue fire's superpower, Selena couldn't hold back the excitement in her heart. Okay, I'll switch to manual mode, and the vehicle control authority will be handed over to you. Blue fire replied. Selena took the steering wheel in her hand and tentatively pressed the accelerator, and the blue fire accelerated quickly and smoothly. Wow that's amazing. That's a lot of motivation. Selena said in surprise as she glanced at the time, it was just after 12 p.m. I'll fly back in the car for a while. Selena thought to herself, although she was tired today, this kind of opportunity is hard to come by, who knows if there will be a chance to drive such a cool car as blue fire in the future. Selena decided to take a hit and get a feel for the extreme performance of Blue Fire. This is just the beginning of the pace, come on. I can try my limits further. At this time, Lan Huo also said. Selena nodded and pressed the throttle harder. The engine roared, and the Blue Fire accelerated like an arrow from a string. The scenery recedes rapidly on both sides, and the speed hand keeps rising. Selena laughed happily and made her way on the deserted highway. It's so exciting. Selena shouted, adrenaline soaring inside her. She happily controlled the blue fire to accelerate and steer on the empty road, feeling the extraordinary driving pleasure. After a while, Selena was happily driving the blue fire, and suddenly, the steering wheel and accelerator were out of action. Blue fire drove autonomously without her control. What's going on? Selena tapped the steering wheel a few times in confusion, but it couldn't affect the direction of the blue fire. At this time, the Blue Fire's car speaker sounded. Sorry, Miss Selena, it's late, I took over the driving control. That's all for today, it's time for me to send you back. Quote. Hey, it's too fast. Selena said disappointedly, I'd like to have a little more. She looked at the self-driving Blue Fire unwillingly, and tried to step on the accelerator and brake a few times, but the Blue Fire was unmoved. Please, you let me drive for five minutes. Selena pleaded. No, that's the end of the drive. I'm going back to my master. The speakers inside the blue train replied. Okay then. Selena could only accept the reality, I wish I could have a cool deformable car like you, and drive it if I want. Actually, if you are willing to follow the master and help the master do things, the master may give a transformer similar to me when he is happy. Blue Fire said. Selena's eyes lit up and she said, well, that's a good idea. You can think about it. Saying that, Selena suddenly became vigilant. Wait, I suspect that you deliberately made me unsatisfied to lure me to follow your master. You're executing orders, aren't you? No, you're thinking too much. After Lan Huo finished speaking, he continued to drive smoothly. Finally, the blue fire came to Selena's door, it stopped, opened the car door automatically, and said, we have arrived, please feel free to contact me and the owner. Quote. Thank you for the pickup tonight. Selena stepped out of the car. You're welcome. After Blue Fire finished speaking, the engine sounded, turned around, and drove away from Selena's residence. 
Selena stood in the doorway and watched Blue Fire leave, their conversation ringing in her head. Closing the door, Selena walked inside, ready to take a break, and then calmly reflect on the sudden turn of events. Lex Luthor gets the body of Zod given to him by the U.S. government. He took the corpse to the wreckage of Krypton's ship, and successfully activated and opened the Krypton spaceship with Zod's fingerprint. Good, opened. Luthor smirked. He couldn't wait to get to the main control room, studying the complex Kryptonian gauge and console. Luthor carefully placed Zod's corpse into the culture fluid, then bit his finger and dripped his own blood into it. When the time comes, if Batman and Superman don't win the battle, it's up to you to help me eliminate Superman. Luther smiled maniacally. He wants to let the world know that there is no one in this world who is truly God. In order to verify his ideas, he will stop at nothing. Early the next morning, Han Chuya woke up. Come to life, today is Superman's hearing on Capitol Hill. She looked at the media reports and comments about the hearings. Under the pressure of public opinion, Superman Clark Kent decided to attend the hearing, publicly respond to questions about the Superman incident, and accept the supervision of the government and the people. On the day of the hearing, there was a sea of people outside Capitol Hill, all expecting Superman's arrival. Suddenly, there was a whistling sound in the sky, and Superman Clark Kent appeared in Superman suit and slowly landed in front of everyone. Some supporters in the crowd cheered and applauded, but most were booed and silent. Clark silently came to the podium, facing the flashing lights of the media and the eyes of the masses. At the same time, Han Chuya blended into the hearing. Clark found Han Chuya and was a little puzzled, but now was not the time to ask. At this time, a disabled person in a high-end wheelchair comes to the stage and begins to accuse Superman of causing great harm to innocent citizens during the battle, including making him disabled. The man looked at Clark with a look of hatred and a fierce tone. But what everyone didn't know was that this high-level wheelchair contained a powerful high-explosive bomb hidden inside, and the explosives were also covered with a layer of lead to block Superman's clairvoyance, so that Clark could not see through the true face of the wheelchair. Han Chuya opened the perspective curiously and found that she could see through the lead and see the bomb inside. The system is amazing. This perspective is more powerful than Superman's, and can see through the lead layer without obstacles. Han Chuya thought happily, it's really worthy of being a flawless kryptonite bloodline. Quote. Skynet, immediately hack all online platforms and forcibly push my live broadcast on the homepage. Soon, the homepages of major social networking sites were forcibly occupied by Han Chuya's live broadcast at the same time, and on it was a heroic anime picture of the superwoman. Countless people were surprised to start the live broadcast and find that they had entered the live scene of Superman's hearing. Isn't this the scene of the Superman hearing? Who's streaming the hearing? Superwoman is also mentioned in it. What bomb? What's going on? Whatever, it's time for Superman to speak, let's see the fun. Netizens. Have been discussing, not knowing why. At this moment, Han Chuya in the camera suddenly stood up. I saw that Han Chuya's professional women's clothes changed rapidly, forming a heroic black silk red short skirt and a red cape superwoman outfit. In the hearing room, everyone was stunned, and the sound of flashing lights came and went. Clark's eyes widened and he looked at Han Chuya's cross-dressing incredulously. The bomb is going to explode. Han Chuya came mysteriously. Clark keenly heard the sound of a bomb in a disabled employee's wheelchair having been activated. Oh no, it's too late. He screamed, but even his speed couldn't have been enough to take the bomb away. Just at the last moment, Han Chuya flew to the wheelchair at a speed of 786 hertz, directly picked up the wheelchair and rushed to the sky, leaving the disabled employee in place. The speed of Mach 786 is equivalent to 267 kilometers per second, and Han Chuya was mentally prepared in advance. Even if the bomb exploded in 0.2 seconds, Han Chuya had no time to move the wheelchair to a high altitude away from the crowd. When Han Chuya picked up the wheelchair and rushed into the sky at supersonic speed, Clark also reacted quickly and immediately flew up to follow. Although Clark's speed is slower than Han Chuya's, it has also reached a flight speed of dozens of times the speed of sound. Then, there was a loud bang in the sky, and the wheelchair exploded in the air, exploding with dazzling fire. Due to the distance, no one was injured at the hearing site or in the crowd outside the venue. Skynet, 
immediately make a video edit, and make the best propaganda video for my process of saving people and taking away the bomb, you know, I don't need to repeat this kind of thing in the future. Roger. Do it right away, I see what you mean, master. At the same time, the crowd outside the hearing was horrified when they saw the explosion in the sky. Clark also flew in front of Han Chuya, with a shocked and puzzled expression, and there were countless questions he wanted to ask. Han Chuya spoke first, my introduction video has been sent to your computer, everything I can tell you is in the video, you will understand after watching it. At this time, the promotional video produced by Skynet has gone viral all over the world, and with the live broadcast just now, Han Chuya's reputation value has begun to continue to be recorded. She smiled slightly, and her goal had been achieved. Then I'll go first. Whoosh. Without waiting for Clark to speak, Han Chuya swooped away at supersonic speed, leaving Clark stunned in the air. System, I have an idea. Can I open and maintain a portal in my system space for Skynet to live stream across borders? Han Chuya asked. Yes, host. I was able to open a miniature portal in the system space so that Skynet could broadcast live across borders. However, please note that maintaining a portal costs 1,000 system points per hour. The system replied. 1,000 points an hour. System, you're a little dark, huh? Han Chuya complained, although the prestige value is a lot of money, the system points are not so rich. In this way, when Batman and Superman fight, you can open it according to my order, and broadcast it until I finally come out to defeat Doom Day, and then the live broadcast of this historic showdown will be very profitable. No problem, host. So be it. Han Chuya nodded and said. System, open the portal, I'll go back to the Marvel world. Roger. The cooldown of the Marvel Cinematic World has been completed, and there is no need to consume points for traversing. Quote. See the Queen. Fiora was overjoyed when she saw Han Chuya returning, she was very worried that Han Chuya would never come back, welcome back, Queen. Did anything happen when I left? Han Chuya pulled Fiora up and asked. No, there are a few hiccups. Fiora replied, the military of the United States sent people to infiltrate the Queen's villa as undercover bodyguards, and they were toyed and teased by the Terminators, and then they deliberately led the gangsters to invade by force, and they were easily solved by Xiaomei and the Terminators. These guys are really, I'll clean them up when I get a chance. Han Chuya sneered. Thank you for your hard work, do you want to go to other worlds with me? Fiora is an android created by the warrior gene and has a strong desire for battle and adventure. As soon as she heard Han Chuya's proposal, her eyes lit up, and she said excitedly. Of course I want to. Queen, I am honored to be by your side, and I will fight to keep you safe in any world I go. It's my dream to fight alongside you. Seeing Fiora's enthusiastic appearance, Han Chuya also smiled. Very good, come with me to conquer the wider world, you will become stronger. You go to Tony, go to his house and wait for me. After Han Chuya finished speaking, she conceived of Natasha's appearance in her mind, and immediately opened a portal to Natasha's vicinity. At this time, Natasha is taking a shower in the bathroom. Hot water poured down from the shower, and the mist made her looming figure even more alluring. Natasha raised her head and let the hot water wash over her body, but her heart was mixed. She was tired and tired of her current work as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, and she always felt like a lonely boat that couldn't really fit in. I'm tired. It's boring, Natasha muttered to herself. At this moment, a bright light suddenly flashed in the bathroom, and Han Chuya walked out of the portal. Ah. H. Natasha was startled and quickly covered her body with a bath towel, Han Chuya. Why did you suddenly appear and come straight to the place where I was bathing? I'm sorry, I didn't know you were taking a shower. Han Chuya hurriedly covered her eyes with her hands, but she still peeked between her fingers. Forget it, you're a woman anyway, and you have clairvoyance, you can't stop me if you want to see it. Natasha said helplessly, putting down the covered bath towel, can't you get enough of your romantic body and face? You have to come to see me. Since Natasha said so, Han Chuya put down her hand and looked at Natasha's delicate figure. Natasha grumbled as she dried herself and dressed, you still knew you came to me, and you thought you had forgotten about me. How is that possible? Han Chuya hurriedly said, I've always remembered you, but there have been a lot of things recently. Quote. 
By the way, Sister Na, stop working for S.H.I.E.L.D., it's full of Hydra undercover agents. Why don't you do something for me? Natasha groaned, knowing that as an agent, anyone who had a relationship with her would be wary. Good. Time is precious, I'll help you get dressed quickly. As soon as the words landed, Han Chuya launched her super speed and dressed Natasha neatly in the electric light. Wait. Natasha was dazzled, everything was over, and Han Chuya's speed was amazingly fast. You're too fast, aren't you? In the process, she vaguely felt a strange feeling on her body, but everything happened too fast, and she didn't have time to determine whether Han Chuya was intentional or unintentional. All right, let's go. Han Chuya said with a smile and drew the portal again. Miss Fiora, what are you looking for me for? Tony was a little confused. Fiora didn't want to pay attention to Tony, clasped her hands to her chest, and didn't speak. Seeing that Fiora didn't speak, Tony was even more puzzled, and was about to ask Jarvis to investigate the situation when a portal suddenly appeared next to the two. Han Chuya walked out of the portal, followed by Natasha, Tony, long time no see. Natasha nodded and greeted Tony. What? Tony's jaw dropped in shock. Idol, why are you here? Do you want to go on a cross-border adventure? Didn't you always want me to take you on a journey through other worlds? Yes. Tony instantly came to his senses, I'm super looking forward to the adventure with you. Let's go. Quote. Well, let's go. By the way, wait a minute, goddess, I have specially made a whole row of different versions of the steel armor for you, all for you. Tony said, dozens of various steel suits flew out of the room. At the same time, Tony also put on his armor. Thank you very much, I'll keep them and maybe wear them to battle. Han Chuya was very happy to see Tony's generous gift, and with a slight wave of his hand after speaking, the entire row of battle armor was stored in the system space. Queen, let's go. Fiora said impatiently. Good. Han Chuya gave a crossing command to the system. A blue aura suddenly appeared, and a huge spatial passage opened in front of them. Natasha had never seen anything like this before, and her eyes widened, this passage looks amazing. Quote. Although Tony has seen it before, he has never officially walked through the aisle. Curious and excited, he stared intently at the entrance of the passage, like a child eager to explore. Fiora didn't care so much, and directly followed Han Chuya excitedly and strode into the passage. Let's go. After several people have passed through the passage, the system's prompt sounds. Ding. The cooldown time has not been completed for 10 days, and the system points are 10,000 consumed, and the three people who cross consume 3,000 points, and the remaining points are 586,600. Quote. Batman Bruce has been actively preparing for the game lately, and he knows that Superman Clark is too strong, so he must be well prepared. With the assistance of the old butler Alfred, he extracted a few bullets from the rare kryptonite and crafted a kryptonite spear from the remaining kryptonite. As long as you can use these kryptonite weapons well, you can deal an effective blow to Superman. Alfred said, but I suggest you talk to Superman first, and if you can't get along, then consider using force. There's nothing to talk about. Bruce has put on the bat armor specially designed for this big fight. While inspecting the equipment. Okay, you're all set. Bruce nodded. I'm going to get justice from Superman, hold him accountable for the damage caused in the Battle of Zod, and make him pay for my car. Bruston paused, gritted his teeth, and said, isn't he a god on earth? I'm going to make him bleed. But after a while, Alfred told him that another powerful superwoman had appeared, and she was most likely also a Kryptonian, and her strength did not seem to be weak. What? And a Kryptonite? Bruce frowned. Yes, we have to reassess the situation. Will she help Superman? Become a threat in your duel with Superman. Alfred said worriedly. In any case, my mission remains the same. Bruce inspected the equipment and said, even if it's two Kryptonians, I'm going to make them a disaster. Subsequently, Bruce watched the rescue video that Han Chuya went viral on the internet, and his face could not hide his solemnity. Superwoman may have justice in her heart, and she is also careful not to hurt ordinary people when she saves people, but she is faster than Superman, and if she gets out of control, the consequences may be more serious. Alfred sighed, he understood that he couldn't dissuade Bruce, who had made up his mind. Well, you have to be careful. It's risky to confront Superman head on. Quote. 
I know, but it's ready to be fired. Bruce gear up and get into the Batfighter. The canopy closes, and the Batfighter launches into the air. The battle between Superman and Batman is about to kick off. During the night, Han Chuya, Tony, Natasha and Fiora walked out of the passage and appeared in the open space of Han Chuya's villa. Yay. Woohoo. Is this another world? Seems to be similar to our world, huh? It's just that the pace of technological development is a little different. Curious, Tony flew around Han Chuya's villa and asked his AI Jarvis to go online to gather information. Sir, according to my analysis, it's about the same place as the Earth, superheroes and villains can be seen everywhere, and the level of technology is generally lower than our world, but there are also some special technologies that we don't have. It's funny, looks like we can have some fun here. Tony said excitedly and flew back. Fiora stood obediently aside, waiting for Han Chuya's instructions. Tony, don't run around, this world is not safer than ours, there are many strong people, don't be killed, I don't have resurrection skills. Yes, Queen. Tony stood up solemnly and gave a non-standard military salute, I promise not to cause any trouble or cause any trouble. Quote. Tony's inner OS. I wish I could take me with me in the future, this opportunity is rare, you still have to listen to the command, I hope you can take me next time. Seeing Tony standing up and saluting solemnly, Han Chuya and Natasha couldn't help but laugh. Natasha smiled and said, Tony, it's so interesting that you look like a good gentleman. It seems that you are determined to please Chuya and strive to have an adventure together in the future, right? Yes, I'd love to see more of the wonders of another world. Blue fire. Han Chuya called out in her heart. With a rumbling sound, a bright blue four-seater roadster drove over and stopped in front of them. Get in the car. Blue fire automatically opened the car door, and several people continued to get into the car. Natasha was inevitably a little curious, although she knew that blue fire was a transformer, but this was her first time riding. I'm still wearing a battle armor, isn't it inconvenient? After Tony waited for Han Chuya and the three of them to get into the car, they also hurriedly sat in the last seat. In my heart, I was secretly excited, and it was a dream moment to be able to share a car with Han Chuya, Fiora, and Natasha, three top beauties. Even if he was able to fly on his own in armor, now he wanted to ride in a car more, and even wanted to take the opportunity to ask a few beautiful women to take a group photo so that he could show off in the future. However, Tony quickly dismissed this idea, he was afraid that the beauties would annoy him, so he decided that it would be better not to mention it. Han Chuya glanced at Tony and didn't say anything. Fiora saw Tony sitting next to her, pursed the corners of her lips, and sat down next to her. Let's go, blue fire, go to the scene of the Bat Super War. Han Chuya sat in the driving seat and said. It's already dark, and the Bat Super War is about to begin. Yes, queen. Blue fire started its engine and sped forward with a few people. Han Chuya activated her super vision and clairlight eye, and quickly searched for Selina the Catwoman, so she informed Blue Fire of Selina's location information. Blue Fire, go pick up that cat by the way. Good master. In a residential building, a group of robbers armed with knives and guns are preparing to slip away with the stolen goods they have just looted. Suddenly, a black shadow appeared silently, first stunted the first gangster with a hand knife, and then kicked the second gangster to the ground with a roundabout kick, and the third gangster was still in horror when he saw this, so he was grabbed by the neck by the black shadow with one hand and lifted up. Who? The gangsters exclaimed. Selina gracefully let go of her fingers, letting go of the unconscious gangster in her hand and letting him fall to the ground. Turning around, a slender figure in a black tights outlining the perfect curves appeared. You greedy rats, it's time to be punished. Selina's eyes flashed with a cold gleam. Catwoman, you're also a thief, or peers better not be nosy, there are so many of us. A small leader saw Selina's outfit and said, his expression was a little jealous. Behind him stood eight or nine younger brothers armed with knives and guns, all holding a lot of money and valuables that had just been robbed. I'm different from you, and I have to take care of this today. Selina's eyes flashed with a cold light, she is a righteous thief, she only steals the things of those bad people and rich people who do a lot of evil, and never harms ordinary people. Humph. Let's go together. The little boss took the lead, and his younger brothers immediately took up arms and besieged him. 
Due to the large number of people and the lack of space, it is inconvenient for them to use guns for the time being, for fear of injuring their own people. Come on, let my sister take good care of you. Selena smiled sweetly, but her eyes showed feline ferocity. I saw that she was short, huh? He swept his leg at the first enemy, and the man fell to the ground with a muffled grunt. Immediately followed by, bang. A knife slashes at the back of the second enemy's neck, knocking them unconscious. The third enemy was surprised and elbowed Selena, who reacted quickly, spun lightly, and hit the enemy in the chin with a roundabout kick, and the man flew away. You want to beat me at this level? Selena slid backwards, dodging the stabs of several men, then turned around and swept her legs, kicking one of the gangsters in the crook of the leg. The man screamed in pain and fell to the ground. The fourth person rushed over and smashed his fist at Selena, and Selena also swung his fist to meet it, only to hear a crisp sound of, click, and the fourth person's arm was broken on the spot, and he howled in pain. Selena lifted her knee to his chin, and the fourth person fell down, covering her face and screaming. Ah, da, da, da. The gunshots rang out, and because Selena solved a lot of people, the gangsters knew that they couldn't beat them, so they began to use guns, and they were not afraid of accidentally injuring their own people. Selena's keen instincts were a split second in advance of direction, and her flexible body was light enough to avoid bullets. Seeing that the stairwell was in just the right position, she immediately rushed over. With the high and low structure of the corridor as a cover, it is better to lure these people over and be killed by her one by one. Selena quickly climbed over the railing of the staircase and made her way into the hallway. Come here, stinky rats. She said defiantly, her tone tinged with playful excitement. Bang. Bang. A few times. Selena leapt lightly, climbed over the railing and climbed halfway up the floor, and a tumbling in the air dodged the gangster's bullet, which hit the concrete wall. The gangsters were all armed with guns, and when they saw Selena retreating, they became bold. Let's get on it. Cut, what's the use of a few stinky rats with a lot of people? Selena sneered, a cat's waist delicately hidden at the turn of the stairs, like a black cat waiting to be hunted. The two gangsters slowly moved upstairs, and as soon as they turned the corner, they saw a black shadow, whoosh, out, and a whirling kick hit one of them in the jaw. The man screamed, ah. Another gangster hurriedly raised his gun, Selena reacted quickly, holding the barrel of the gun with both hands and falling it over her shoulder, slamming the gangster to the ground and rolling down the steps. I'm too anxious, Mr. Gangster. Selena crossed her hips with one hand, brushed her hair, and looked downstairs with a smile like a hunter with a winning stake. Seeing that the situation was not good, the remaining gangsters all began to run out. Selena jumped to her feet, and a delphinium landed ready to continue the hunt. Run. One of the gangsters was more righteous, ran away first, and shouted, run. The remaining gangsters saw that the general situation was gone and fled one after another. Selena is like an agile flying cat, tossing and turning in the stairwell. A roundabout kick hit the gangster's temple, and the man fell in response. A knee slammed into the abdomen of another gangster, and the man bent down, slamming a breath down his throat. That's all. Boring. Selena rolled over and landed in the air, kicking one of the fleeing gangsters down the stairs with a side kick. Selena's body curves are extremely romantic and well-proportioned, with a thin waist and hips and long straight legs, and a well-fitting black tights that outline a bewitching figure. She is like a proud black cat that exudes a deadly charm. Throughout the battle, Selena's movements are smooth, fast and coherent, full of a combination of grace and strength, which is both beautiful and practical. She is like an agile black cat, and she fights without flaws. Selena landed lightly and shook her hair in style. There are still a few gangsters left, and they have already taken the opportunity to escape to the entrance of the first floor. Selena knew that there were a few people who had escaped, but she was helpless and didn't plan to chase them. Well done, Selena. At this time, Han Chuya suddenly teleported in front of Selena and praised her, thinking, it would be more perfect to add another cat tail. Selena was about to speak, but Han Chuya had already activated her super speed, wrapped her hands around Selena's flexible and slender waist, and teleported downstairs. At the same time, as soon as several gangsters ran out of the building, they saw Iron Man Tony falling from midair, blocking the way. Natasha rushes to the front and knocks out a gangster with a flying kick. Ah, uh, 
Before he could react and resist with his hands, he was kicked unconscious. Before the next assailant could react, Fiora came up to him and threw him over the shoulder, slamming him to the ground. Ah! He screamed and lost his mobility. You can't run away, friend. Tony teased, a left jab to the last man, who fell straight to the ground without making a sound. Huh. You can't kill you with one punch, right? Tony wondered. When Selena was picked up by Han Chuya, she felt a flower in front of her and came downstairs. You're hugging people so uncontrollably. I'm not your cat. Selena glanced at Han Chuya and complained coquettishly. However, she felt that Han Chuya was more beautiful than her, and she didn't feel at a loss in her heart. A smile flashed across Han Chuya's face, and her arm slowly loosened and put Selena down. Selena is really like an elegant, docile and somewhat arrogant, but wild cat. Han Chuya looked at Selena's romantic body and long legs, and her heart itched, system. I want to be a man again. No, host, you'd better hurry up and save more points. The system calmly replied, isn't it good to be a woman with such strong strength? Women also have the benefits of women, with your perfect face and body, you can easily get along with all kinds of beauty and get in close contact. Many beauties even feel that it is their honor to be friends with you. Makes sense. Han Chuya can only accept reality. Seeing Selena who was put down by Han Chuya, Tony's gaze couldn't help but stick to Selena. Beautiful lady, good luck. I'm billionaire Tony Stark, the superhero Iron Man. Tony's eyes lit up and he couldn't wait to greet Selena. Let me briefly introduce her, she is Selena, the legendary Catwoman of Gotham City in this world, and she solved more than a dozen gangsters in the corridor alone. Han Chuya opened her mouth indifferently, and a smile appeared on the corner of Selena's mouth. Hello, I'm Natasha, Han Chuya's friend. Natasha reached out and shook Selena's hand politely. Selena looked at the woman who was wearing a leather-like leather-like leotard with interest, and secretly compared it to herself, well, this woman's legs are shorter than mine. Quote. Luckily. Selena replied politely, but Natasha keenly caught the little smugness in her eyes. I am Fiora, the queen's faithful warrior. Fiora briefly introduced herself and said no more. At this time, the blue fire quickly drove over, came to the side, and stopped with a beautiful sudden break. I saw the blue fire incarnated into a cool four-seater convertible sports car, the body painted blue and fiery red, exuding a mechanical coldness and futuristic sense. Blue fire. Is that you? A new look. That's cool. Selena looked at the blue fire in the open form in surprise, turned her head to look at Han Chuya, and remembered that this super-powerful transformer belonged to Han Chuya, and she was envious to death. Yes, Miss Selena, I'll pick you up. Blue Fire replied. Get in the car. Selena, you're here to lead the way. Han Chuya said with a smile. Lan Huo automatically opened the four doors, and Han Chuya sat in the co-pilot seat. There's no place in the back, so I'll fly with you. Tony, who is wearing Iron Man armor, saw that there were two people in the back seat, and he was embarrassed to squeeze into the car again. Fiora and Natasha also jumped lightly into the back seat. Selena bowed slightly, and after Lan Huo heard Han Chuya's words, the engine was already roaring, waiting for Selena to start driving. Let's go. Selena lifted her slender legs, her toes were slightly pointed, the throttle was stepped on, and the blue fire let out an explosive roar, and under her skillful operation, the blue and red body rushed into the busy street like an arrow from the string, and Tony, wearing a suit, followed and flew beside her. The steering wheel is in control, Selena's red lips curl up a smug arc, her eyes are full of excitement and revenge, the last time the blue fire was immersed in the fun of driving, taking away control of her, and at this time the blue fire can't escape her clutches. Tony turned his head to look over and thought, this woman is driving too wildly. There was a sharp bend ahead, and Tony thought that Selena would slow down early to pass here, but he saw that she didn't slow down, lightly slammed the brakes with her left foot, and quickly hit the steering wheel with her right hand. Miss Selena, your driving skills are really good. Tony exclaimed, flying close to the car. When Natasha saw this scene, she found that the performance of the blue fire was so good, and her heart was ready to move, and she also wanted to experience the thrill of driving the blue fire. This cat is wild. Han Chuya commented with a smile. At this moment, in the distant night sky, 
Bruce shot a bat light into the air, issuing a declaration of war provocation to Superman. The bat lights are on. Han Chuya was the first to find out, and immediately said, I'll take the first step. With that, she flew straight out of the blue fire open top carriage and rushed to the vicinity of the scene as quickly as possible. Wait for me. Tony spewed a stronger jet from the sole of his armor's feet and sped up to follow. Whoosh. Fiora immediately took off to follow. We're speeding up too. After Selena finished speaking, she stepped on the accelerator hard, and the calf muscles straightened, exuding wild explosive power. If it was an ordinary car, I was afraid that she would have stepped on it directly under her hard pedal. As Catwoman, Selena's physical fitness is four times that of ordinary people, and her agility and flexibility are far seven times that of ordinary people. This didn't have much effect on the blue fire, but he still thought to himself as he accelerated, why is that? Pressing to the bottom will keep me going full speed, so there's no need to push my accelerator pedal so hard. Miss Selena, I'm glad I'm a sturdy transformer, otherwise my mech would have fallen apart with your wild manipulation. Or my master is more gentle. Lan Huo couldn't help but complain. After saying that, without waiting for Selena and Natasha to react, Blue Fire immediately began to transform. I saw the Blue Fire car still driving at a fast speed, the fuselage began to run and convert, the front of the car gradually elongated into the nose, and the wheels stretched to both sides into wings. The parts flowed rapidly and deformed, and soon a Blue Fire in the form of a huge fighter plane appeared. Of course, the transformation process did not affect the two people sitting inside. Selena looked at the blue fire car she was still driving just now in shock, and looked at the steering wheel that disappeared in front of her in a daze. The blue fire transforms into a fighter jet and takes off directly into the air. Selena instinctively feared high places in the air, she was still immersed in the excitement of driving just now, and her face changed suddenly and her heart beat faster. Natasha noticed Selena's reaction and immediately asked, Selena, you're not afraid of heights, are you? Are you really a cat? Quote. After the transformation is completed, the blue fire engine in the form of the aircraft roars, accelerating forward, and the speed of his fighter form can reach Mach 8 at the fastest, which is much faster than Mach 3 on the ground. Han Chuya came to the top of a tall building not far from the battlefield, which was an excellent vantage point to watch Batman and Superman fight. System, start the cross-border live broadcast. Han Chuya said to the system. Okay. We've opened a small portal in the system space where we're staying for live signal transmission. System reply. As a result, the DC Universe, the Marvel Universe, and the homepages of all online platforms are strongly occupied by Han Chuya's live broadcast. People from both worlds soon found out about this and talked about it. People from the Marvel Universe spoke. Supergirl is on the air. After waiting so long, I can finally see Superwoman again. Does anyone know where it's live? I want to go to the site. Quote. The 600th world is also buzzing. Isn't this Gotham City? Oh. It was like Batman. Who's streaming? On the other side, Lex Luthor saw the bat lights in the sky, sneered in his heart, and was not idle, and immediately sent his men who had laid an ambush in advance to successfully capture Clark's mother Martha. Then he successfully kidnapped Superman's girlfriend reporter Lewis, and ordered his men to bring it over. Luther dragged Louise to the top floor of a tall building, a sinister smile on his lips. He knows very well that the most effective way to get Superman to show up is to hold him hostage. Lewis, come and enjoy the view. Luther tugged Louise's wrist and dragged her to the edge of the roof. Lewis was terrified and struggled desperately. Stop. Let me go. Her cries echoed high in the air, but in vain. Han Chuya who was on another tall building in the distance, had all this in her eyes, and if Superman hadn't arrived in time like in the movie, she would have come to her rescue. Superman. Come and meet me. Luther let out a maniacal laugh and shoved Louise off the top of the building, which was dozens of stories high. He is sure that this will successfully force Superman to show up and come to save his beloved girlfriend. Just as Lewis fell, a red and blue figure fell from the sky like a meteor and caught her steadily, it was Clark Kent, Superman. The speed has increased a little bit, and the talent is great, but it's still a lot worse than me. Seeing that Superman came out to save people smoothly, Han Chuya stopped the action. Goddess Chuya, I'm here. 
At this time, Tony flew over first with the steel suit and landed beside Han Chuya. Your Majesty. Your subordinates are always at your disposal. Fiora also flew in quickly, placing her right hand on her chest and giving Han Chuya a standard Kryptonian etiquette greeting. Master, we're here too. Blue Fire has transformed into airplane mode, carrying Selena and Natasha on the roof of the building, and after opening the hatch, two romantic tights beauties walk out of the Blue Fire cabin. Let's wait and see the situation first, see that Batman and Superman are going to fight alone, and the big boss has not yet appeared. After Han Chuya finished speaking, her eyes fell on the figure at a window of a tall building not far away, and Wonder Woman Diana was also secretly watching the battle. Diana was looking at Han Chuya curiously, but who knew that Han Chuya suddenly looked over and suddenly met her gaze, which shocked her. Come here, you. Han Chuya flew at extreme speed and jumped to Diana's side in an instant. Diana only felt a flower in front of her, and the whole person had been taken to the top floor of another high-rise building by Han Chuya with lightning speed. You. Diana looked around and saw several other people around. Don't be nervous, it's all in one camp. Han Chuya raised her eyebrows and smiled, looking in the direction of Superman in the distance, it's important to watch the battle, let's talk about it after chatting. Diana listened, took a deep breath, adjusted to calm her emotions, and only nodded to the few people present and said hello briefly. Several people immediately brushed together, curiously focusing their eyes into the distance. I can't hear them, Selena said with some regret. Let's watch the live. Blue Fire immediately projected a huge screen in midair, and the picture was following Superman Clark. After Clark rescued Lewis, he quickly flew back to the roof of the building, stopped in midair, and his eyes shot a fiery hot gaze, glaring at Lex Luthor in front of him. I'm not going to hurt you, but I'm going to send you to jail. You should be thankful to Dade. Clark resisted the urge to punch Luthor and said word by word. Luther's arm trembled slightly, but he was still standing firm, and it was clear that he had the cards. What I'm trying to say is that when it comes to your superiority, you are above everything, and God is like that. But when I was a kid, I didn't see God deliver me from my dad's fists and hatred. So I grew up knowing that no one is omnipotent, and you are no exception, that there is no God in the world. Luther paused, then added, I want people to know that you are a liar and that the world will see for themselves when you have blood on your hands. What did you do? Clark heard this, and with an ominous premonition in his heart, he slowly landed on the ground and approached Luther. People will see through you tonight, because you, my friend, are going to an appointment. In the distance, Han Chuya complained, Superman's temper is so good, I can have the patience to listen to him for so long, if I would have done it a long time ago. This man wants to bully honest people. Tony said. Clark looked at Luther suspiciously, who are you going to? Why should I listen to you? Right there, after two years of gestation, his anger has burned to its peak. Luther pointed to the huge bat shape projected by the bat lamp in the distance in the sky, now you have to fly over and fight him, the gods against mortals, the children of Krypton against Gotham bats, until life and death. Clark was a little annoyed and found it very ridiculous, he had never liked to conflict with people, and smiled, you think I will fight him for you. Luther shook his head arrogantly, that's right, I'm sure you'll fight for that special lady in your life. At the mention of threatening him with his relatives, Clark instantly became angry and said coldly, she is safe on the ground, but what about you? You can easily kill me, but it's a pity that I'm not talking about your girlfriend Lewis, but the most important woman in every boy's life, mother. Clark angrily took a step forward. Ah Luther hurriedly took out and held up a few photos of Martha having been kidnapped, Martha, Martha, Martha. Clark's face changed instantly, and he stopped. Luther proudly put away the photo, the mother of the flying demon must be a witch, what is the punishment for the witch? Luther approached Clark, leaned his face close to him and asked, burned by fire, of course. With that, he scattered the pictures on the ground one by one. Clark crouched down to pick up the photo, looked at his bound mother in dismay, and then looked up at Luther, his eyes reddening and the heat in his eyes ready to shoot at any moment. Where is she? I don't know, I didn't let my men tell me. Luther arrogantly shook his finger in Clark's reddened eyes, if you kill me, your mother will die, if you fly away, she will die, but if you kill that bat, Martha will be safe. Superman Clark, 
who was squatting on the ground, retracted his reddened eyes and lowered his head. Yes, that's it, that's good. Luther reached out and touched Clark's head in a humble manner, now even the gods are going to bend to my will. Quote. Superman fans who watched the live broadcast have immediately called the police for Superman, but Luther didn't know that he was being live-streamed at this time, and people from both worlds saw what he was doing. I've already called the police for Superman, and this Luther is too bad. He kidnapped Superman's mother to threaten him. A loyal Superman fan spoke in the comment section. What's the use of calling the police? Call the police. Laughing at me, Superman can only wait to be killed by Batman. This person looks too cheap. I hope my idol Supergirl will show up soon. It seems that this Superman and Supergirl are similar in some ways. Quote. There was an uproar in the comments, and voices for and against Superman continued. But few supported Luther's approach. Clark is still in a bowed posture, and Luther looks at him triumphantly. At this time, his private jet flew to the roof of the building to pick him up. Luther looked at his watch, time is running out, if you don't see the bat's head in an hour, your mother is in danger, and the time bomb around her has begun to clock out. With that, he turned and stepped onto the plane. Luther plans to make secondhand preparations, and if Batman can't defeat Superman, he will immediately activate the plan to resurrect that doomsday and unleash this legendary monster of Krypton to deal with Superman. Tony was watching the situation on the live stream while communicating with Jarvis. Jarvis was helping him gather it, answering all sorts of information about the world. Is Gotham City so messy? Tony looked at the information gathered by Jarvis and sighed, in addition to Miss Selina Catwoman, Gotham actually has a mysterious Batman. And the richest man in Gotham is Bruce Wayne, he won't be the legendary Batman. Quote. He made simple reasoning and associations based on known intelligence. Jarvis, hurry up and help me investigate this Bruce Wayne and Batman-related information. I've always felt that there is some kind of connection between the two. No need to check, Bruce is Batman, the protagonist of this war. Han Chuya's super hearing heard the whispered conversation between Tony and Jarvis. Really, he's a bit like me. But he can't beat me with his Batgear, Iron Man. Tony said confidently. Who are we going to help then? Selina asked curiously. I remember the last time Superman broke your drone. Wonder Woman Diana reminded. If the queen goes out, she can clean up the two of them together. Fiora thinks that Han Chuya can easily clean up the two. A few of you and I are discussing. At this time, the live broadcast screen switches to Gotham City in the rain. Batman stands at the top of a tall building, the rain dripping on his armor. He stared at the sky and waited for Superman to arrive. Just then, a taxi breaks sharply on the street, and Louise's blonde hair is scattered as she runs. Louise opened the car door, driver, go to the planet. Quote. Louis. Just then, Superman's voice rang out behind her, and Louis turned around. I have to go to Gotham and convince him to help me. Clark said, helplessness in his tone. Who? Louis asked, puzzled. Batman Bruce, if you can't convince him, he's going to die. Clark whispered with a pained expression on his face. Clark, Louise panted and tried to say something, but couldn't say anything. No one in this world can be kind forever. The sadness in Clark's eyes almost overflowed, and his kind heart was already silent for Bruce. With these words, he turned and flew into the night sky, disappearing from Louis's sight. Louise looked in the direction he had left, worried and uneasy. What was she going to do? A bolt of lightning streaked across the night sky, illuminating Gotham City with a flash of light. Superman's figure soon appeared in the sky above Batman, and he quickly fell, looking anxious and distressed. Superman landed quickly, looking anxious. Very good, you're finally here, I'm here. Batman said with a sneer. Bruce, please don't do this. Superman didn't want to do it, his tone was full of pleading, he really couldn't bear to kill Batman unless he had to, and now he just wanted to ask Bruce to help him. Batman slowly retreats, intending to introduce Superman into the trap he has set. He couldn't listen to Superman right now, and his focus was on the fight. Seeing this, Superman hurriedly followed Batman, and at the same time persuaded him, I was wrong, you have to listen to me, it's Luther. At this moment, a high-frequency sound wave suddenly came out from the machines on both sides, hitting Superman hard. 
Ah! Superman shouted in pain, the massive impact blurring his vision. Before he could finish speaking, Superman walked to Batman's trap and was attacked by sonic waves. The air around Superman was blurred. Seeing this, Batman crooked his mouth and sneered. Superman gritted his teeth, grabbed the manhole cover of the waterway under his feet in pain, broke it in half with both hands, and directly smashed the sonic machines on both sides with the manhole cover. The sound waves finally stopped. You don't understand, time is running out. Superman spoke anxiously and strode towards Batman. The time bomb next to his mother was about to explode, and he had to take action. I understand. He and Superman don't say the same thing. Batman said as he took a step and walked strongly towards Superman. The two faced each other, only a stone's throw in between. You understand the hell. Superman was in a hurry and slammed Batman away. At this moment, Batman's heavy machine guns that had been arranged around him in advance suddenly fired a volley, and a dense stream of bullets came at Superman. Superman subconsciously raised his hand to block, but soon he hovered in the air, his eyes glowing with a hot gaze, and instantly destroyed the surrounding machine guns. Then, Superman rushes over and pushes Batman out of the way. Batman's body drew a parabola in the air and slammed to the ground. Just as Batman struggled to get up, Superman had already come to him, and with a dive, he was directly in front of him, and quickly flew upwards into the sky. The two cut through the night sky and soon came to the top of a tall building. Superman slams Batman to the rooftop. Batman lay on the ground panting heavily, then slowly stood up with a determined expression. Don't fight back. If I had tried to get serious, you'd have died. Superman roared. In the distance, Han Chuya and the others were a little speechless. Clark is too abrasive, is this what the plot needs? With so many opportunities to speak, why don't you hurry up and get down to business? Han Chuya complained. The audience in the live broadcast room was also very anxious. Batman ignores Superman's warning, quickly pulls out a special smoke bomb from his belt and throws it between the two. The smoke instantly filled the air, obscuring the view. Superman teleports forward, but is surrounded by thick smoke causing him to briefly lose track of Batman. In just a few seconds, bang! A gunshot rang out, and Batman took the opportunity to shoot and fired bullets containing kryptonite powder at Superman. I'm going to join in the fun, Fiora, follow me. Seeing this, Han Chuya, who was in the distance, quickly got up, whoosh! Fly towards the scene. Superman easily catches the bullet Batman shoots at him, smiling confidently. But in the next moment, bang! The bullet exploded in the palm of his hand, releasing the kryptonite powder it contained. Ahem! Superman immediately stood unsteadily, bent down in pain, and got down on one knee. Suck it in! Batman said in a deep voice, walking towards Superman, this is fear. He looked coldly at Superman who was on his knees, and there was not the slightest sympathy in his heart. At this time, Superman was distracted by the sudden reversal. You're not brave. Batman continued to say coldly. Superman forced himself to slow down, stood up unconvinced, and punched Batman. Bump. The fist slammed into Batman's full body steel armor, which Batman had designed and reinforced for the fight intact. Under the influence of kryptonite powder, Superman's strength is no different from that of ordinary people. Humans are brave. After Batman finished speaking, he gave Superman a heavy punch and officially started to move. The two of them punched and kicked back and forth, but Batman always had the upper hand in steel armor, beating Superman who was affected by kryptonite. Superman is constantly being beaten and getting more and more embarrassed. Batman finally knocked Superman to the ground, he bent down, picked up Superman's body with both hands, and threw him straight from the tall building. Bang! Superman fell from a dozen stories to the first floor, slamming heavily on the ground and letting out a scream. Batman quickly launched an iron hook to grab the exterior wall of the tall building, and slowly descended to the first floor. He picked up the kryptonite spear he had prepared in advance, strode over to the painful and struggling Superman, raised his foot and stomped on Superman's chest. Ah Superman's facial expression is distorted by the excruciating pain. You've never been a god, you're not even human. Batman said in a low and hoarse tone raising the kryptonite spear to make a deep blood mark on Superman's face, and the blood immediately gushed out. The so-called gods have also shed blood. 
Batman sneered and raised the kryptonite spear in his hand again, ready to end Superman's life. However, at this moment, a hand suddenly grabbed Batman's kryptonite spear. Batman couldn't stab down even a single inch with all his might. Okay, that's the end of today's fight. Han Chuya said in a relaxed tone, not afraid of this out-of-control situation. Batman. Bruce, it's time to stop. At this time, Tony also arrived at the scene, floating in the air in his battle suit and said. Queen. Fiora also came to the side, wearing an all-black short skirt suit, and a big S on her chest, which looked like a Kryptonian. The live broadcast screen made this scene clear in front of the audience of the two worlds. Marvel World. Seeing Han Chuya appear in the live broadcast, the Supergirl fan base was immediately excited. Oh. Supergirl has finally appeared. Oh my god, Supergirl has been gone for so long, and we can finally see her again. I've been worried about it for a long time, and I thought something had happened to her. I'll just say that Supergirl is so powerful, she'll be fine. By the way, do you know where Supergirl is? God is Superwoman in another world. Really? You're not kidding. Quote. It's not just ordinary fans who watched the live broadcast, Nick Fury had already sent his subordinates to investigate, and confirmed that the location where the live broadcast took place was not anywhere on the planet, and it was very likely that it happened on another Earth in another parallel world. Superwoman can really travel through different universes, and this won't be a huge threat to our world, right? Nick frowned. Senior U.S. government officials and military leaders were also watching the live broadcast at the same time. They know very well that this is not happening in the world they live in, but in a completely new world. It's incredible. If a powerful enemy invades us through this cross-world ability, the consequences will be unimaginable. I said a long time ago don't mess with Supergirl. If we really used General Ross's plan to control the capture of Supergirl, and then she escaped to another world, who knows what the consequences would be. Quote. Arrest. Are you kidding? You don't know how strong she is. We shouldn't be tempted to control powerful superpowers, which could have disastrous consequences. It's a good thing that this superwoman doesn't look malicious, otherwise how would we deal with this level of threat? In existence of this level, I wonder if nuclear weapons will work on her. I think we should try to reach out to her, communicate with her more, and try to get her to be friendly with us. What a joke. We need to step up the research and development of more powerful weapons in order to counter external threats. Quote. Seeing the scene of Han Chuya appearing in the live broadcast screen, the top leaders of the United States and the military lost their due composure and demeanor under the shock, and argued with each other. Hydra, Pierce is not surprised by the amazing strength shown by Superwoman, because he is mentally prepared to face the great power of Superwoman. No wonder Superwoman is so powerful, she obviously doesn't belong to a lower world like us, she can even travel freely to different cosmic dimensions. Pierce sighed in his heart. Although Pierce has never met Han Chuya. But the shock that Han Chuya brought to Hydra has long been deeply imprinted in their hearts, and his understanding of the mysterious power of Superwoman is far beyond ordinary people. Previously, Hydra had secretly obtained a hair of Superwoman Han Chuya in an attempt to decipher the mystery of her superpowers. But even using a special chainsaw that can cut through the diamond directly will not cause any damage to Superwoman's hair. In the end, they used the most powerful laser-cutting device, leaving only a tiny mark on her hair that was only visible under a microscope, and could not cut it off at all. In addition, the Hydras also estimated that Han Chuya's body density was at least 2.3 million times that of ordinary humans through Han Chuya's hair. Hee <laughs> hee, some of our other high-level leaders of Hydra are still trying to control Supergirl, but we don't know that our weapons and abilities are simply not worth mentioning in front of Superwoman, and it is pure wishful thinking to compete with her. There is no other way out but for us. Pierce smiled self-deprecatingly and began to think about Hydra's next steps. At the same time that everyone in Marvel was shocked. When Han Chuya stopped Bruce from finishing Superman's blow, she said, that's the end of today's fight. When Bruce heard this, he was faintly angry and unconvinced. Who do you think you are? What about Supergirl? If you tell me to stop, will I stop? I went to great lengths to build a kryptonite weapon and managed to restrain Superman. Finally, the advantage is in me, how can I stop here? Tony, don't. 
Look at the excitement, I don't need your help over there, come and support us. Natasha and Selena are riding the blue fire and contact Tony. Roger, I'll be right away. Tony stopped watching the battle and activated the Iron Man armor to fly to their side. Sorry for keeping you waiting, what do you need me to do? Tony quickly arrived at them, near a dimly lit house. We're going in to rescue Superman's mother, Martha, do you think we're sure of us? Selena said. With my Iron Man here, it's absolutely fine. Tony said confidently, and then added, the three of us going out together is too much to save face for these people. Quote. No, it's not just three people, there's me, I'm a transformer. At this moment, the blue fire drove over silently and automatically. I'll go. Surprise me, you can still move. Looks like you're a good sneak attacker. Quote. Bruce thought to himself that this was a great opportunity to get rid of Superman and eliminate potential threats in the future, how could he let it go so easily? In order to defend the future of humanity, he must complete his mission to kill Superman. Superwoman, get out of the way. Bruce said in a low, slightly gasping tone, with a determined light in his eyes. He thought to himself that he still had one last kryptonite bullet as a backhand, and if the situation was critical, he could use it to severely damage Supergirl. But there's no need to rush it yet, the kryptonite spear still has a role to play. Although Supergirl seems to have a companion who was watching the battle from a distance just now, as long as Supergirl is forced away from Superman first, and then he successfully kills Superman with a kryptonite spear, today's mission is complete. Bruce swung the kryptonite spear and swept over, trying to use the kryptonite spear to force Han Chuya to leave Superman's side and clear the obstacles. He believes that with the characteristics of Kryptonians, Superwoman will definitely take the initiative to avoid kryptonite when she sees it. Unexpectedly, Han Chuya stood proudly, without the slightest intention of moving. Han Chuya didn't need to hide or want to hide, she just stood arrogantly, the kryptonite bloodline she had was perfect and flawless. An imperceptible gleam of joy flashed in Bruce's eyes. He judged that Supergirl might have misjudged Kryptonite's threat and gave him an opportunity. Bruce clenched the Kryptonite spear that swept towards Han Chuya, staring intently in anticipation of his blow that would be enough to inflict heavy damage on Han Chuya. In the 600th World Live broadcast room, Han Chuya's new fans were so nervous when they saw that she was unmoved in the face of the Kryptonite spear. Supergirl, get out of the way. Oh my god, it's over. One fan nervously covered his eyes and couldn't bear to look at him directly. No, Batman, don't hurt Supergirl. There are also fans who are so worried that they shout. Those who hate aliens and support Batman gloat inside. Haha, ha, well done. Again, co this chick directly. Come on Batman. Kill these aliens, Earth is the world of humans. Quote. Super talents are the embodiment of justice. Superman's fans are excited. Superman is not even human, Batman is righteous. All kinds of rhetoric are contested, and of course the most heated debate is the supporters of Superman and Batman. But after Han Chuya's live broadcast cleaned up the day of destruction, she was the first top. Fiora, as an excellent beautiful warrior of Krypton, has battlefield acumen and quick reactions. When she saw Batman sweeping towards Queen Han Chuya with a kryptonite spear, she was immediately very worried and panicked, and immediately flew over to rescue. She didn't know that Han Chuya had a flawless Kryptonian bloodline, only that kryptonite could weaken the power of Kryptonians and even kill them easily. Fiora flew up and shouted, Queen, get out of the way. Then she grabbed the kryptonite spear in Batman's hand, and although her body was already starting to weaken, Fiora used the last of her strength to break the deadly kryptonite spear. The scene of Fiora breaking the kryptonite spear also reached the audience's eyes through the live broadcast screen. Chow Chuya's fans were relieved when they saw this. She also has a big S on her chest, and she's also a kryptonian. Great, there's another superwoman. The whole body is dressed in black, black silk and miniskirt, it is really heroic. Two Kryptonian beauties joined forces, this picture is too beautiful for me to look at. Ah, it almost worked. Another female kryptonite, sabotage Batman's good deeds. What's next for Batman? Does he still have an advantage? There was a lot of discussion in the live broadcast room, and the warm atmosphere has not been extinguished. What? I'm going to deal with three Kryptonians today. Bruce had a bit of a breakdown inside. 
Fiora, are you all right? Han Chuya hurriedly hugged Fiora. I didn't expect you to react so quickly, I'm actually not afraid of kryptonite. Your Majesty, be careful of kryptonite, don't worry about me, just let me slow down, and I will recover immediately. Han Chuya. God help me, the two of them just stay together, and my last kryptonite bullet can be wiped out. Bruce hurriedly raised his gun and shot. Bang. Han Chuya easily caught the kryptonite bullet with her hand, and the bullet exploded in her palm, releasing the kryptonite powder it contained. The green kryptonite powder spread out in the air, enveloping Han Chuya and Fiora. Suck it in, and let you know what fear tastes like. Bruce said with a smug sneer. Han Chuya wanted to keep a low profile, but since Fiora was also beside her, she had to protect her. So Han Chuya decided to show off the majesty of the queen, become a domineering president, and give Fiora a long insight. I saw Han Chuya take a big breath hard, and all the kryptonite powder was instantly sucked into her mouth. And the mental state of the whole person has not malaised in the slightest. Bruce was shocked when he saw this, he never expected that Supergirl would directly inhale kryptonite powder that could weaken or even kill Kryptonians, and it didn't seem to be affected at all. Impossible. This is my carefully refined high concentration kryptonite powder, how can you be unscathed? Bruce muttered in disbelief. Kryptonite bullets are very good, don't make them next time, why don't make them for me, why don't you make me a few kryptonite smokes? Han Chuya said slowly. After speaking, Han Chuya blew all the kryptonite powder in her mouth into the sky, and with a gentle blow, the powder drifted away with the wind and disappeared without a trace. As for the viewers who have been watching the live broadcast, they have long been shocked and numb. Han Chuya's reputation was growing rapidly. Fiora, on the other hand, was full of little stars, and had never seen such a domineering queen. She watched with admiration as Han Chuya inhaled and spewed out all the kryptonite powder, powerful and calm, completely unfazed. The queen is strong, too. My subordinates are so lucky to follow the queen. Fiora's eyes gleamed with adoration. Han Chuya looked at Fiora with satisfaction, thinking that when she was relaxing before, with her strong body, it was always Fiora's strength that was enough to massage and relax her. No matter how powerful the other Terminator robot is, it will be difficult to achieve the effect of massaging her. And Fiora has strong combat ability and rich combat experience, and is an excellent left and right hand. She is very loyal, and she can also understand Han Chuya's intentions, whether it is on the battlefield or in life, she can cooperate tacitly. Who doesn't like such a loyal and capable beauty subordinate? Martha. At this time, Superman Clark staggered to his feet, and after his body digested the effects of kryptonite powder, he began to quickly regain his strength. Please help me save my mother, Martha, who is still in the hands of Lex Luthor. It's over, Superman has regained his strength. Now I'm going to fight three Kryptonian supermen with my bare hands. Bruce looked at Superman, who had recovered from his recovery, and his heart was cold. Wait, he just mentioned the name Martha. Bruce's mother is also named Martha, which reminds him of his mother for the first time. As soon as Clark said the name, Martha, Bruce suddenly remembered his late mother and was very sad. So he shouted emotionally, why did you mention that name? Quote. That's his mother's name. At this time, Clark's girlfriend Louis ran over and quickly explained. Han Chuya interjected coldly, Clark, you destroyed my drone before. Clark replied anxiously, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was yours, I will compensate me. But my mother's time bomb is about to explode, please help me and find a way to save her. Bruce calmed down a little, and at this time he couldn't bear to let a woman with the same name as his deceased mother lose his life, so he quickly asked, where is your mother trapped? I'm going to save her. He realizes that Superman's mother is also human, and Superman must love his mother very much, and he is no different from himself. This realization diluted his previous hatred of Superman, and the hostility in his heart disappeared by half. Someone has been sent to save me, and my companion has passed. Han Chuya said. When she came over just now, she asked the Blue Fire and them to come to the rescue. Superman, you also have to compensate me for the damage to my vehicle. Bruce added that he took the opportunity to stand on the same front as Han Chuya. Han Chuya was not afraid that Kryptonite's performance would shock him, and he didn't have any thoughts of going against Han Chuya now. 
Clark was embarrassed and said, I'm very sorry, I'm in a big financial problem right now, and when I save money, I will definitely compensate you. Han Chuya rolled her eyes and thought to herself, you work at the planet daily, how long do you have to save according to your income to compensate for the loss of the Batman chariot? It was Luther's ploy to let the two of you go it alone, he threatened Clark's mother, and Clark had to come over. Lewis quickly interjected to explain. At this time, Bruce began to worry that the companions sent by Han Chuya were not strong enough to successfully rescue Clark's mother, and he also wanted to go over to save people. At the same time, he was also worried that Han Chuya would still have to fight with him, so he would be gone. He didn't want to go head to head with this superwoman who wasn't afraid of kryptonite. Just in time to take the opportunity to get out, Bruce said, I'm worried that your companions won't be able to deal with Luther's men, so I'll go and help. After saying that, he quickly turned around and left. Queen, he's clever and wants to slip away. Do you want to chase? Fiora said with some indignation, the effect of kryptonite just now made her very uncomfortable. Forget it, there's a misunderstanding in there this time. Next time, I hope he will do it himself. At this time, Han Chuya thought of the, Flash, movie world that she had been to before. Keaton's version of Batman, who does not have the principle of not killing, cleaned up all the criminals in Gotham, made Gotham the safest city in the world, and completed an achievement that all Batman has never accomplished. I don't know what happened to Kara, the supergirl of that world. And the Kryptonian army, I'll have to take some time to go over and take a look. Bruce sped over to pilot his Batfighter, Alfred, help me find the location of Clark's mother. Seeing that Han Chuya didn't chase after her, she breathed a sigh of relief in her heart. It seems that Supergirl is a very good person, and he used to be too prejudiced against Kryptonian Superman. The old butler Afu replied, I'm sorry, I overheard your conversation, but I was prepared, checked Martha's location, and located a house near the port. Bruce felt guilty. That Kryptonian ship is sucking the city's electricity, it must have been Luther's doing. Lewis said worriedly to Clark. I'm going to find Luther. He must be brought to justice. Clark finished and flew away. Han Chuya and Fiora were left at the scene. System, can I use reputation points for all kinds of equipment I purchased before, upgrade and add new features? Han Chuya thought about adding the ability to resist kryptonite radiation to Fiora's nano suit, if only it could cancel out most of the effects of kryptonite. I'm sorry, host, but equipment upgrades are not available due to the current system level. But after you destroy the doom, the system will almost be upgraded, and the upgrade function will be unlocked at that time. When the time comes, you can enhance the various items you have already purchased as needed. The system replied. At this time, Louise on the side rolled her eyes, thought of something, and quietly ran over to pick up the broken kryptonite spear and threw it far away. Of course, Han Chuya and Fiora both looked at it, but didn't say anything. Fiora, what do you know about that Kryptonian monster Doomsday? Han Chuya looked at Fiora curiously and asked. She found that Fiora had basically recovered from the influence of kryptonite, and she was truly worthy of being a Kryptonian royal sister with strong warrior genes. These people are too weak, how dare this Luther use Superman's mother to blackmail him? Tony said. By this time, they had easily eliminated the group of enemies and successfully rescued Martha. Had it not been for the time it took to figure out the enemy's situation, they might have ended the rescue much sooner. Blue Fire, why did you shout when you attacked just now, and then blasted people away with one shot, exposing us like this? Natasha said with some reproach. I think it's more imposing and emotional. Deal with these little miscellaneous soldiers, and they are not afraid of being discovered. Blue Fire, who had taken the form of a robot, replied. Selena asked teasingly, Blue Fire, in front of your beautiful hostess, are you also like this? Quote. That's when it happened. Who's there? Natasha sharply turned back and raised her gun vigilantly. All eyes were on that direction. Come out. Tony also raised his palm. It's me, Batman. Bruce emerged from the darkness, his cloak tumbling behind him, I'm here to save Martha. It's you, Bruce. Selina said, the corners of her mouth rising slightly. How did Catwoman Selina end up with them? Bruce saw several reactions, obviously already knew his true identity, and couldn't help but be a little depressed, now everyone knows that Bruce is Batman. 
Bruce, you're late, we've managed to save Clark's mother. Blue Fire said. Bruce inside, and what is this talking robot? What day is today? Let me encounter so many things, is it that I calculated Superman before, and my brain is broken? Today, my brain is really tired, and it seems that I need to take a good rest. Quote. Martha had just been rescued by everyone, and she was still a little frightened. She adjusted her breathing for a while, and then slowly came back to her senses and said to everyone sincerely, thank you very much for saving me. Her voice was still a little shaky, but a grateful smile appeared on her face. She looked at a few people and said, thank you, from the bottom of her heart. No thanks. As easy as lifting a finger. Several people replied. Bruce wanted to speak, but he didn't know how to introduce himself. He hesitated for a moment and said, ah, I am your son's friend. I know, you're definitely a friend of Clark's, after all, you're wearing a cape, too. Martha said with a gentle smile, with kindness in her tone. At the scene of the Bat Super War, Han Chuya and Fiora were chatting at super high altitude, waiting for the resurrection of Doom Day. Fiora frowned and said, Queen, we must fight quickly and quickly solve the Day of Doom. It absorbs energy and becomes more and more powerful. She was very nervous that the monster of Doom was a nightmare for the Kryptonians. Han Chuya's face was confident and relaxed, as long as it's afraid of kryptonite, it's no problem. Quote. On the periphery of the scene, a large number of police and heavily armed personnel have already surrounded the place. But they only dared to stand guard outside, and no one dared to enter this dangerous forbidden area rashly for the time being. War correspondents from various media outlets also rushed to the scene and were reporting nervously on the scene. A female journalist excitedly and nervously reported on the scene, we are still on the periphery of the control center, the situation is very dangerous, the area is surrounded by military and police personnel. Exclamation mark dot 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 quote. A sonic boom sounded, and Clark shot down directly from the sky like a reddish blue light, instantly penetrating the Kryptonian spaceship's cabin. Inside, Clark saw Lex Luthor in the cockpit. A look of surprise crossed Luthor's face, and then his usual haughty smile returned. He snapped his fingers in the air with both hands and said exaggeratedly, late, late. White rabbit. 40 seconds left until activation. The computer in the cabin coldly reported the numbers. Clark didn't pay attention to the voice, just silently walked towards Luther, his steps firm. You're out of recruits, and you don't have time. You're missing the head of a bat. Luther asked angrily, waving his hands as he spoke, his tone full of conceit. Ding ding. Luther's phone rang suddenly. Oh, wait a minute, the chef is calling, unaccompanied. Luther arrives, answers the phone, and prepares for his men to kill Clark's mother, Martha. Ah, uh, Gotham barbecue, it's going to be fully cooked. Luther smiled viciously, his tone flirtatious, as if he were ordering food. In fact, this was an order to burn Martha with fire. Clark looked at Luther coldly, shrugged his shoulders, his joints crunched slightly, and resisted the urge to make a move. He believes that Supergirl's companions and Batman have saved his mother, but he still wants to listen to the phone and make sure for himself. Ahem. There was a clear cough on the other end of the line, and it was Tony who picked up the phone. Give our Superman bad news. Luther said, thinking it was a subordinate answering the phone. Tony glanced at Bruce and gave him his phone. Batman, you come and talk to him. We prefer to do it in person, just wait and see. Bruce Shen took the phone and said in a deep voice. Hearing this, Luther was very surprised, and the smile on his face gradually disappeared, and his face was ugly. At this time, Clark finally spoke, and said in a deep voice, You lost. I don't know how to lose. Luther thought he had one last move to spare, and a hint of cunning flashed across his face. Unbeknownst to Clark, inside the ship, Doom Day is about to be resurrected. You'll learn. Will I learn? Hum. Luther raised his voice and pointed at Clark, his tone serious, I don't hate any sinners, I hate sin itself, and you, my friend, Kryptonians. Your existence is sin. Luther then walked over to Clark. Luther walked quickly towards Clark, his eyes revealing frenzy, I can't let you win, I gave that bat a chance to fight, but he wasn't strong enough. Luther's voice grew louder. So, if humans can't kill you false god. Luther's voice was loud and almost roaring. Then let the real devil do the work for you. 
Luther finished speaking, glaring at Clark viciously. At this moment, the device of the resurrection of doom completed the countdown and officially activated with a buzz. Zizi, the powerful current was instantly sucked away by the device in the spaceship, and the surrounding brightly lit high-rise buildings were blacked out, and the metropolis became dark. At this time, a TV station immediately made an urgent report on the topic, the metropolis is in darkness, there is a total power outage from the north to the northwest, and the FBI is rumored to be going to investigate, is this part of a larger terrorist attack. Luther walked over to Doom's son, which was still in shape, and said feverishly, ancient Kryptonian deformed creatures, borrow my blood to resurrect. He raised his hand, revealing the bleeding wound on his hand, and the body of Doom's son in the cabin was rapidly taking shape. Seeing this, Luther turned to Clark and said almost with hatred, it was born to destroy you. Then he pointed again to the day of doom that had taken shape and slowly stood up, it is your day of doom. Quote. Doom day stood up and let out a deafening roar into the sky. Feeling the breath of the destruction day, Clark's face suddenly changed and became solemn. Doom's massive body stepped forward and stared down at Luther. Now, God is dead. Luther said with a smile, still basking in the thrill of thinking he could control this powerful Kryptonian monster. Roaring. Doom Day suddenly opened its jaws and let out a deafening roar at Luther. The tone blew Luther's long hair flying. Luther was startled, but quickly looked up and closed his eyes, opening his arms as if to welcome the spring breeze. However, he apparently did not know that although he had resurrected Doom Day with his own flesh, the monster would not obey his orders at all. Clark's eyes widened as he watched it all. I saw Doom raise his hands and slam his hammer on the ground, making a loud rumbling sound. Then throw a big punch and hit Luther directly. Luther's face turned pale when he opened his eyes, and instinctively raised his hands to cover his head, and turned back sharply. Seeing this, Clark hurriedly flew forward, and received a blow with both hands that was enough to kill Luther. Tony, they're coming fast. Bruce flies the newly upgraded Batfighter, which glides almost silently through the sky. Blue Fire transforms into a small fighter carrying Natasha and Selena. Tony is centered in a steel suit and flies side by side with both planes. Bruce frowned as he observed the plane and the red iron man next to him, which was still in machine form. Who are these people? Bruce had a lot of questions in his mind. He had turned the Batfighter up to its maximum speed but the small fighter and the red iron man next to him easily kept up with him. This was a clear indication that the Batfighter wasn't the fastest here, and that they had slowed down to wait for him. Bruce was shocked. He had never heard of these people before, especially the guy in the red steel armor. His character is so flamboyant and exaggerated, he shouldn't have never shown his face. But except for Selena, there is no information about them in this world. I have to figure out who they are. Bruce clenched his fist secretly, but the priority now is to get the job done. I can wait until the end of the day to investigate slowly. Quote. At the same time, in the cockpit of the deformed gold steel. What's wrong? Han Chuya's live broadcast suddenly stopped, and I was a little worried. Natasha said with a frown. She's so strong, she shouldn't have a big problem. Selena replied, but her brow furrowed slightly, clearly worried. In fact, Han Chuya just stopped the live broadcast in order to save some points. Blue Fire, why don't you have some onboard music to relax the atmosphere? Tony, who was flying on the side, suggested that several people were keeping in touch with each other through the group's voice. Tony wasn't very worried about Han Chuya, he felt that there would be no one stronger than Supergirl. Tony, you're too boring. Natasha gave a blank look. Okay, then I'll play a song to organize the atmosphere. The Blue Fire decisively agreed to Tony's suggestion. Hello all the producers, I'm practicing for a long time. Hello everyone, I am Kai Shu Kwan, a personal trainee who has been practicing for two and a half years, and I like to sing, dance, rap, and basketball. Music. Gotta gotta. The music of the Blue Fire stereo was loud and echoed in the night sky. Bruce's thoughts were interrupted by a song that suddenly interjected, What's going on? Why play music? Jarvis, translate the meaning of the lyrics. Tony said to Jarvis. Sir, this is a Chinese song, singing, Chicken you are too beautiful. Jarvis followed the translation of the lyrics through his singing voice. Tony. Blue fire, what is this? Let's close it quickly. 
Selena couldn't help but speak. Okay, okay, I'll turn it off. Blue Fire quickly cut off the music playback. Blue Fire, send me this song. Tony then muttered, I'm going to study what kind of song this is, this must be a thing Supergirl often hears. Han Chuya said that she was wrong, she didn't know that Blue Fire had this song. Okay, I've sent it to you. Blue Fire replied, there's a lot of movement ahead, there's a fight. Let's get over there, go. Tony and Blue Fire sped up, leaving the Batfighter behind. Bruce was depressed, my Batfighter is too backward, and it needs to be improved. At the same time, Han Chuya on the other side has already opened the live broadcast of the two worlds. The live stream has started again. The people watching the live broadcast had a lively discussion. Oh my god, this green monster looks so scary, it's one size bigger than the Hulk. Superman's attack doesn't seem to hurt for it. Superman needs the support of his teammates. What about Batman? Come and help. Laugh to death, Batman just wanted to kill Superman, he won't wait for the two of them to become teammates. Clark and Doomday go back and forth, from inside the ship to outside the ship. Doomsday grabbed Clark's feet and slammed him into the statue of Superman. Bang. With a loud bang, the statue of Clark was smashed to pieces by Clark's body, and Clark flew away by inertia. It can be seen that the power of the destruction day is strong. After Han Chuya watched for a while, she saw that the battlefield was getting farther and farther away, and flew to Clark's side. Appears on the live screen. Clark, lure it to no man's land, this guy will destroy everything in sight. Seeing Han Chuya appear, the audience was particularly excited in the Marvel Live broadcast room. Oh yes. Supergirl is finally here. Quote. The strongest combat power in the universe is here. I've moved the bench, sat down, and got ready to watch the goddess fight. I don't know how much Supergirl has gotten stronger, can she kill me with one punch? You're kidding upstairs, I guess Supergirl can destroy a city with one punch right now. When people in the Marvel Universe saw Han Chuya appear, they were basically not worried about whether she could beat it. In the DC Universe, most people don't know much about Han Chuya's strength, so their reaction is a little more pessimistic. Great. The strongest Superman, now with a Superwoman as a helper, will definitely be able to defeat that monster. But this monster has already pressed Superman before, what role can this Superwoman play when she comes? I think Supergirl might be even more powerful, and Kryptonite, which even Superman is afraid of, has no effect on her. Some netizens in the DC Universe began to discuss the comparison of the strength of the two. Clark very much agreed with Han Chuya's proposal, and was about to fly forward to lure Doom's son away from the densely populated city and into no man's land. Good. Listen to you, in your introductory video, you are much stronger than me, I hope that this is the case, and I can succeed in taking down this terrible monster and stop him from harming the world. And. At this time, it was unexpected. The troops of the United States military and a large number of helicopters arrived and fired missiles frantically towards the day of destruction. However, this level of attack is like tickling for Doomsday. Not only does it not work, but it will also absorb it to evolve itself. Doom Sun went berserk in anger and roared in the sky. Roaring. A wave of powerful energy erupted from its body, and a huge shockwave spread out in all directions, and the sound was terrifying. The surrounding buildings and tall buildings were shaken by this energy. Apparently, Doomday further strengthened itself by absorbing the power of the attack. Seeing this, Clark secretly screamed in his heart, as if its strength had increased again. He was about to fly forward, but saw that Han Chuya had already rushed out. M.I. Jun is really a pig teammate, but it doesn't affect me. After Han Chuya quickly swept over, she clenched her fist with one hand, gathered her strength with all her strength, and slammed it Doom Sun. With an earth-shattering bang, Destruction Day was knocked out hundreds of meters away by Han Chuya and fell heavily to the ground. Seeing this, Wonder Woman in the distance stopped stepping forward to support, and she was startled by Han Chuya's move. It's too much, isn't it? Tony and Blue Fire, who arrived in a hurry, stopped on the tall building and looked at the battle scene in front of them. Selena and Miss Natasha, let's not participate in such a fierce battle, just wait and see. Blue Fire said, releasing the two girls from the cabin. Well, you guys just stay here. But I'm Iron Man, wearing a suit of steel, and I have to step up to help. 
After Tony finished speaking, without waiting for a few people to react, he flew directly to the battlefield. The bat fighter also flew over quickly. What the hell is going on over there? Alfred. Quote. Bruce piloted the bat fighter, watching the explosions in the distance, the energy shock wave continued, obviously something not small happened. The two have been communicating remotely through voice. Phew, Alfred took a deep breath, how can I say it, I haven't seen this meeting. Can you elaborate on that? Bruce asked with a frown. The battle was unbelievably fierce, there was a huge green monster. Alfred described what he saw. The vitality of the destruction day was tenacious and abnormal, after being beaten and fallen by Han Chuya. It immediately got up, grabbed a large piece of reinforced concrete beside it, and smashed it into a MI Army helicopter in the sky that was about to fly to support. Clark's quick eyes swept over to protect the helicopter from attack. Keep your distance. Don't come here to help, I don't want to be distracted to save you while fighting. Clark shouted at the helicopter. However, no one could listen to Clark's words, and a large number of heavy weapons, shells, and missiles were still beckoning to Doom Day. At this time, Han Chuya flew in front of Doom in the air, and the fist of her right hand aimed at its abdomen was an uppercut, and with a loud, bang, Doom's son was blown into the sky by this punch. Han Chuya's figure chased after her like lightning. Before the Doom Sun was rolling in the air and had not yet reached its highest point, Han Chuya had already flown above it, flying downward, and kicked its back with an astonishing force with her right foot. Boom. Doom was kicked like a meteorite and smashed into the ground to stir up smoke and dust. Ding. Congratulations to Suzumi for defeating Doom Day and earning 40,000 points. Han Chuya was stunned, could it be that the Day of Destruction could repeatedly brush points? Doom Sun obviously struggled to withstand Han Chuya's attack, Chuya's attack speed was too fast, and the force was too fierce, so that the absorption speed could not keep up with Han Chuya's output frequency. Han Chuya's powerful offensive quickly caused it to break through. But if you give it time, it will recover and become stronger. Doom Day staggered up from the dirt. Seeing this, the MI army planes began a new round of bombing on it, replenishing its blood and upgrading it. High explosive bombs and missiles hit Doom Day one after another, and it roared in the sky, gulping to absorb this new round of attack power, and its strength rose again. General Headquarters of the MI Army. President, the nuclear bomb button is ready to be launched at any time. Doom Day has significantly increased in size after absorbing the attacks of the MI Army, and it looks more powerful and terrifying. Roar. It roared in the sky, its voice filled with anger and rage. A powerful energy fluctuation emanated from his body, and the debris of the surrounding ruined buildings was stirred up. It looks like the situation is not good, it is standing up again. Tony, who flew over, frowned. Come and eat my shot. Flying over Doom Sun, Tony raised his palm cannon and aimed it at it with a powerful laser. However, the laser hit Doom Sun's body like a scrape, and it didn't even break its skin, it directly absorbed this energy. Doom Day was caught by Tony's attention, turned his head to look, and slammed from the ground into the sky. Whoosh. Doom's Day moved surprisingly fast, and before Tony could react, he grabbed it and fell down with it. It's too strong. Tony hurriedly activated the thruster to get rid of its clamps. Doom Day is about to tear Tony with his hands. At this critical juncture, Han Chuya rushed over quickly and hit Doom's son in the head with a heavy punch. Doom Day is knocked unconscious, and finally lets go of Tony and falls from the air. Thank you. Saved me the nth time. Tony controlled his armor and said to Han Chuya as he levitated in the air. Tony, don't attack it with your weapon, it can absorb all kinds of energy, and conventional means are useless against it. Han Chuya hovered next to Tony and reminded. Queen. Fiora flew over as well. On the ground, Doom Day roared again, roar. Ideographic period. Superman Clark saw that a large number of helicopters of the MI Army were still surrounding Doom Day, refusing to stay away, knowing that they would drag down the battle with Doom Day. If Doom Day attacks, he will have to be distracted to save these MI troops who don't know the severity. In addition, there are residential areas nearby, and if the exchange of fire affects civilians, the consequences are unimaginable. The battlefield must be shifted quickly. Superman didn't have time to convince them anymore and immediately rushed behind Doom Day. 
While it had just been beaten by Han Chuya, it didn't react. Immediately put his hands on its back, and instantly exerted super speed, lifting the destruction sun high and flying towards the sky. I have to take it to a safe place, away from the crowd. Superman thought. A kilometer, two kilometers, three kilometers. Superman continues to accelerate his ascent and prepares to fly out of the atmosphere in the face of doom. General Headquarters of the MI Army. Look, sir, they're out of the city. A female officer watching the screen shouted. Looks like Superman is going to take it into space. We can just launch a nuclear bomb, Mr. President. A white-haired old officer glanced at the screen and immediately turned around and said. No, not yet. Are you crazy? Someone said. They're tall enough that we can nuke and not cause any casualties, sir. There will be one casualty, Mr. President, Superman. Disguised as a human, said the Martian Manhunter, dressed in formal attire. Command was silent for two seconds. By this time, Superman had taken Doom Day into space. Doom Day is entangled with Superman in space. May God have mercy on us all. After the President finished speaking, he gave the order. The key has been inserted. The key has been inserted. The nuke red bird is in place. Sir. Quote. Let's launch. 3. 2. 1. B. Mechanical sound counted down, and the nuclear bomb inside the silo soared into the sky, lighting up the dark night sky. Jarvis, what's going on? Tony looked at the bright light in the sky in amazement. Sir, they fired a nuclear bomb at Superman and Doom Day in space. Jarvis's voice echoed through the warframe. Every country in the world is like this, and likes to beat teammates. Han Chuya commented. But doesn't Doom absorb any energy to become stronger? If it does absorb the energy of the nuclear bomb, Tony frowned. If nothing else, yes. Theo replied. System, check out my dashboard. Host name, Han Chuya. Height, 178. Points, 628,600 prestige value, 4,999.99 million. The body naturally uses the physical force field, 60 kilograms. Flight speed, Mach 1832 current. Ability. Iron body, super strength, super hearing, super vision, super spirit, super brain, super speed, super endurance, flight, biological force field, heat rays, ice breath, magic mastery, clairvoyant eyes, etc. Quote. System, after you upgraded before, didn't you say that after defeating the enemy, you can get the enemy's skills at a discount? Han Chuya asked inwardly, you can count me as defeating Doom Day once before, and give me points. Quote. Although the current strength is enough to defeat Doom Day, the more skills you have, the stronger the better. Yes, host. The system replied, Doom Day has a super skill that absorbs all kinds of energy to evolve, but since the host defeated it once, it can now be discounted by 5%. The virtual interface of the city of the system provider was immediately switched, and it read. Absorb energy price after 5% discount. System enhanced version. 5 billion reputation value normal version. 2 billion reputation value. Castrated version. 500 million reputation value. Since there are always people browsing her related videos, Han Chuya's reputation value has been increasing continuously. Han Chuya looked at her current reputation balance again. It has risen a little more. 5 billion, which is just enough to pay the price of the enhanced version of the system after the discount. System, is there a big difference between the three versions? The difference is huge, the castrated version can only absorb a small number of attacks, and the normal version has the same doom ability. As for the enhanced version, it's a plug-in, not to mention a nuclear bomb, and the energy of the dark dimension can also be absorbed and transformed at will. Dark Dimension. I'm not afraid of that Domamu, okay, buy the enhanced version now. Han Chuya chose to buy without hesitation. Ding, the purchase is successful. The system prompt sounds. I'm going to test the power of this new skill. After saying that, Han Chuya urged the power of her whole body, launched a super speed, and rushed straight into outer space, eager to experience the feeling of using a new skill and absorbing such a huge amount of energy in person. System, I bought it for 5 billion before, the self-healing ability of the Golden Wolf is also a plug-in version, and the injury can reduce the pain. Han Chuya, who was in flight, couldn't help but ask again. Yes, host. 
The system seemed to reply with a little reluctance, you're too cautious too. With your current superwoman strength, a mere nuclear bomb is not a problem at all, and even without the blessing of these skills, you are enough to deal with it. I just like the feeling of being foolproof. Han Chuya said, with the plug-in version of the self-healing ability as the backing, I can absorb the energy of the nuclear bomb this time more confidently. Besides, in the movie, Superman was hit by a nuclear bomb and fainted to death. I don't want to hurt like him. Quote. Han Chuya quickly caught up with the nuclear bomb and flew side by side with it at the same speed for a few seconds. The live broadcast gave a close-up of the nuclear bomb. People in the 600th world widened in surprise when they saw this picture. This is a nuclear bomb. This big war is going to escalate into a nuclear war. Is it really a nuclear bomb? It doesn't matter if it's a nuclear bomb, after all, the nuclear bomb flies high enough. It was the United States that wanted to destroy that monster with a nuclear bomb, but they didn't care about Superman. It's so bad that even the superhumans who guard the world have to be wiped out. What about Superman? What to do, an alien, prepare to face the strongest weapon of mankind, just to destroy him and the monster. I'm sure Superman can handle it. Superwoman has also gone to support, I hope she can withstand it. Most people believe that a nuclear bomb can easily wipe out the Day of Doom. There are also those who believe that the world does not need superhumans, and that human nuclear bombs are enough to defeat all enemies. The audience in the Marvel world was also in an uproar. Nuke. Oh my god, how terrible it would be if it blew up. It's so unfair to that Superman. The goddess went to save him, I believe in the strength of the goddess. The government of the United States of their world actually dropped nuclear bombs at Superman and monsters in space. Crazy. At this time, Natasha and Selena also saw this scene through the live projection of Blue Fire. Superheroes are fighting, and they're stabbing them in the back. Natasha said as she looked at the screen in a daze, her hands unconsciously clenched into fists. Selena, who grew up in the United States and often saw all kinds of darkness, was not at all surprised by what the government was doing. She took the initiative to fly over after seeing the situation, and she should know what she was doing. Selena said worriedly, with her current strength, there shouldn't be a big problem, right? As she spoke, she unconsciously tapped her thighs with her fingers, trying to make herself look calm, but she still couldn't hide her worry. Selena looked up at Natasha, hoping to get an affirmative answer from her face. Natasha pondered for a moment, a hint of uncertainty flashed across her face, but she still tried to sound confident in her tone, it should be fine, we can only trust her. Compared to her, we are too weak to help her at all. Near the atmosphere, Clark was shocked when he saw Han Chuya flying over, followed by a nuclear bomb. He hurriedly waved at Han Chuya and shouted, get out of here. Fast. His face was full of anxiety. Although the air near the atmosphere is thin and the sound transmission effect is not good, there is no problem for the two people with super hearing to communicate. Clark hugged the desperately struggling Doom Sun, and locked its neck to prevent it from dodging the nuclear bomb. He judged that the nuclear bomb was powerful enough that it was unknown whether he would be able to withstand it. Either way, he has decided to sacrifice himself to defuse the crisis. The thought made Clark's face sink, his eyes glint with determination. He knew that this might be his last fight, but he had no regrets. As long as he can destroy the monster of Doom Day and protect the Earth, he is willing to give his life. Doom's son twisted desperately, trying to break free of Clark's grasp, but Clark gritted his teeth and clung to it with all his might. After a fierce stalemate with Doom Day, Clark finally managed to trap it in the path of the nuclear bomb with himself, and thus greeted the final moment. Let's go, let's go home. Clark's eyes were full of reluctance and sadness, and he shouted at Han Chuya. If you can, please help me take care of my mother Martha and my girlfriend Louis. But Han Chuya not only did not leave, but flew quickly to Clark's side. Then she threw her fists at Doom's son, striking it hard at the sides of the head. Bang! Doom's son's head shook a few times, and the struggle became noticeably smaller, and Clark suddenly felt much more relaxed. Don't worry, I'll help you share some of the nuclear explosions. It's just a nuclear bomb, but it's just a small case for Kryptonian Superman. Han Chuya said to Clark. By this time, the nuclear bomb was approaching. Well, I hope it's as you say. Seeing that Han Chuya refused to leave, 
Clark replied, I'm Superman, let me be in front. You're hiding behind me. Han Chuya didn't say anything, just broke Clark's arm that was locked to the head of the destruction sun. Then, using the biological force field, he expanded the range of his fist and struck at Clark, knocking Clark out of the air and causing him to start moving away from the nuclear bomb. At the same time, Han Chuya's biological force field firmly locked the doom day, preparing to take it alone to bear the impact of the nuclear bomb. When the day of destruction absorbs the nuclear explosion and upgrades, when the time comes, defeat it again, and the system's points will become more. Superman Clark, who was knocked away, watched all this happen in a daze. At the same time, seeing this scene, the people from the two circles who watched the live broadcast also exploded. A small number of those who opposed it gloated, believing that the two Kryptonian supermen were now dead. Very well, this superman is high up all day long, and let the strongest weapon of mankind, nuclear bomb kill them all. Han Chuya's fans saw her endure the nuclear explosion alone in order to kill the monster. Some people clenched their hands, covered their mouths and wept in fear. Exclaimed, oh my god. Quote. Someone else shouted, come on, goddess, you will do it. May Supergirl be safe. Although some people were worried, they believed in Han Chuya's strength, and said to the worried people around them, don't worry, Superwoman can withstand it. Quote. Supporters of superheroes angrily condemn the United States approach, arguing that they should not launch a nuclear bomb on superheroes behind their backs. The government of the United States is stupid. Heroes are fighting, what are you doing? Han Chuya's reputation began to enter her account quickly. Ding, congratulations to the host, gain plus 7-6 reputation from Bruce Wayne. Ding, congratulations to the host, gain plus 8-4 reputation from Diana Prince. Ding, congratulations to the host, gain plus 8 8 reputation from Selena. Ding, congratulations to the host, gain plus 90 reputation from Stan Lee. Ding, congratulations to the host, gain plus 8 8 reputation from Michael Jackson. Ding, boom. After an earth shattering bang, the nuclear bomb exploded near the atmosphere. The nuclear bomb exploded. At this time, the Batman piloted by the Batman was flying under the bridge across the river. Bruce Wayne looked up at the huge mushroom cloud in the sky, his eyes flashed with fear, and he whispered to himself, my god. The darkness of the night was suddenly illuminated as day. People's faces were full of shock and fear, and for a while, except for the aftermath of the nuclear explosion, there was a large silence in the area. All eyes were on the brilliant nuclear explosion in the sky. After a while, an object with flames in the sky fell like a meteor, with an extremely fast speed, producing a sonic boom. It then fell heavily to the ground, causing a huge tremor. Boom. With a loud bang, the earth trembled. That flame is the day of destruction. The location of the nuclear bomb explosion was close to Han Chuya. And this nuclear explosion, which was enough to destroy a city, did not cause any harm to Han Chuya. Han Chuya closed her eyes slightly, enjoying the abundant energy with a soothing expression. It's a beautiful thing to eat a nuclear bomb. For Han Chuya. The high heat and rays produced by the nuclear explosion are like a warm heat wave, caressing the body. Han Chuya could feel every cell in her body rejoicing. They quickly and greedily absorb this powerful energy in three steps. The first step is to connect. The round nucleus actively receives the energy to receive the impact. The second step, transformation, the nucleus is deformed, converting energy into elastic potential energy. Step 3. The nucleus quickly regains its shape, transforms and releases energy evenly around it, making the cell more powerful. The vast nuclear energy is constantly transformed in Han Chuya's body, just like the spring rain moistens the earth and becomes a precious nutrient that continuously nourishes the body. At the same time, the sun swept across the horizon and fell on Han Chuya. The light waves resonate with the cells and inspire powerful energy in the body. Han Chuya gently closed her eyes and raised her head slightly, enjoying the double happiness from the nuclear bomb and the sun. I only felt the power converging in my body, growing and spreading like a whirlpool. Every cell in the body is getting stronger like crazy, as if it wants to emit a dazzling brilliance. Superman Clark on the other side of the distance is also floating near the atmosphere, and because he is a certain distance from the nuclear explosion point, he does not faint directly like in the movie. 
But the nuclear explosion made him so weak that he closed his eyes and tried to fall asleep. But as the sun's rays shone through, Clark felt the strength in his body gradually recover. He could hear every cell in his body cheering, craving more sunlight like a blooming sunflower. Clark opened his eyes slightly, the sunlight making his eyelashes flutter. He slowly spread out his palms and felt the warmth of the sun in his palms. Looking in the direction of the nuclear explosion with super eyesight, he found that Han Chuya was unscathed, and seemed to be still enjoying absorbing energy. Clark recovered a little, had the ability to fly, and hurriedly flew to Han Chuya's side. You're okay. Right. Quote. It's just a nuclear bomb, it's fine. Han Chuya opened her eyes and looked radiant. Feeling the strong energy fluctuations overflowing from Han Chuya's body. Clark asked with some surprise, you seem to be able to absorb the energy of a nuclear bomb. It's too strong, Kryptonians don't seem to have this skill. I'm not ordinary, but I have a perfect Kryptonian bloodline in my body, you haven't heard of it. I grew up on the earth and didn't know much about it, but today I have seen it. With that, Clark activates his supervision and searches for Doom Day. Not good. Although it was bombarded by a nuclear bomb and fell to the ground, it did not die, and it seems to have absorbed the energy of the nuclear bomb explosion. Han Chuya adjusted her posture with satisfaction, completely digesting the huge amount of energy she had just gained. Suspended in the atmosphere with Clark, baptized by the sun, his strength continues to grow. Don't worry, there's Wonder Woman, she's a demigod who can delay her for a while. We'll recover here and go back to the decisive battle later. Han Chuya said, looking at the sunlight on the horizon with appreciation, the sun on the horizon is really a good scene. Clark wondered. Wonder Woman. Quote. System. Report data. What is my flight speed? Host. Han Chuya flight speed. Mach 3826, 1301.99 kilometers per second. Yes, it can fly back to the ground in less than a second. Military command. Throw one, hitting the ground. The female officer stared at the screen as the red dot fell to a location on the map. The location is east of the metropolis and uninhabited. Quote. Number two and number three parabolas. She frowned as the other two dots stood still on the screen, paused, and then muttered, no obvious signs of re-entry. Quote. What are the number two? The president's voice was heard through a communications device, and everyone in the command could hear it. It's two Kryptonian supermen, Mr. President. Supergirl and Superman. The Martian Manhunter replied in a low voice, frowning. He was contemplating whether or not to deal with Doom's son, but he couldn't defeat the monster himself. Sir, it's moving. An officer exclaimed. On the screen, the red dot representing Doom Day is moving. In the live broadcast room, the picture of Doom Day is playing. I saw it glowing with lightning, roaring, and frantically tearing at its own skin. Faintly under the skin, the bones are growing rapidly, and soon penetrate the surface of the body, forming terrifying bone spurs. At the same time, a terrifying yellow lightning spread out from its body, accompanied by a boom. The sound crushed and spread in all directions. Obviously, it absorbed the energy of the nuclear explosion to complete a new round of evolution, and its size increased by another circle. Seeing this scene, the audience in both worlds was stunned. Why is this monster so tenacious? It's over, it's like it's evolving. Even nuclear weapons don't work against it, so what can I do? Get Superman back and destroy it. Superman was stabbed to death by a human in the back. Supergirl won't have an accident. Good thing this terrible monster isn't in our world. Doom. Day is brutal and tireless, destroying everything it sees. If left unchecked, it will continue to wreak havoc on Earth, and will continue to strengthen itself by absorbing energy, and no one can stop it. Marvel's Shield. Nick Fury saw this scene. Mad Fool. Don't let this monster come to our world. At the DC military command, an officer proposed, how about we launch some more nuclear bombs? Martian Manhunter Calvin hurriedly said, the shockwave it produces becomes stronger and stronger every time it evolves, and every time we strike it, it becomes more powerful. Hear me out. We. No more attacks. The. President's voice asked on the other end of the line, what do you mean, Calvin? It means. We can't get rid of it. Martian Manhunter finished speaking, and closed his eyes in disappointment. 
there was a dead silence at headquarters, and everyone's faces turned terribly bad. The Batfighter flew towards the Doomsday landing site, and the sky was covered in dust next to it, and soon Bruce widened his eyes to see the energetic Doomsday standing there. Seeing this, Doomsday's huge eyes shot a huge yellow hot gaze at the Batfighter. Oh. Shet. Bruce hurriedly piloted the fighter plane to dodge. Master Wayne, can you hear me? Are you okay? Butler Alfred's voice came. Alfred, it's a Kryptonian creature, only a kryptonite weapon can kill it. Maybe, if you have left. Alfred said helplessly. I didn't have to fight in the nest, and I didn't use these kryptonite weapons against Superman. I still had a kryptonite bullet left, and I used it up in the end. Alfred. The spear. Alfred, that spear, though broken, was pure kryptonite. Bruce said, it's landed in Gotham, and if you can use it to pierce Doom's son's skin, you should be able to kill it. Quote. Ah. That's right, in theory. Alfred was a little unconvinced. I'll have to lead it back to Gotham, back to kryptonite. At this moment, Bruce suddenly saw a red humanoid armor lying on the glass of his bat fighter. He was taken aback. In the communication channel, another voice chimed in, are you sure that thing works? It didn't work for Superwoman before. Quote. It was Tony who hacked into their channel. Bruce thought for a moment and said, you'll have to try. I'm flying much faster than you, so let me go back and get it. You're holding it off here first. After Tony finished speaking, he didn't wait for Bruce to answer, and walked away. It's nice to have a partner, you don't have to fight alone, what do you say? Alfred said on the other end of the comms. Bruce didn't reply. A thought was firm in my heart. It's a good idea to form an alliance and rally all of us to deal with this threat. Maybe later, we can discuss the alliance, but we have to get through the current hurdle first. Bruce muttered to himself, then piloted the plane towards Doom Day. Inside Tony's armor, Jarvis's voice rang out. Sir, Supergirl left a message, she said that she was basking in the atmosphere and would be able to come back soon. I knew she was okay. Tony said happily. Before, he thought that Han Chuya was so strong that he would not have an accident easily, but Han Chuya's delay in showing up made him more and more worried. On the other side, Selena and Natasha were stunned when they saw that Doom Day was unharmed, and after returning to Earth, they evolved again. At this time, Lan Huo suddenly spoke, the master left a message, and she said that she would come to deal with Doom Day immediately. Don't worry, two beauties. Really? That's great. Selena said, it's okay if a nuclear bomb explodes in front of you, she's too powerful. Natasha said, you said she was so powerful alone, why did she form the Supergirl Alliance and pull us in? We're so weak we can't help at all. Quote. Because. Does she like beautiful women? Selena guessed uncertainly. Doom Sun roared, firing a massive thermal gaze at the Batfighter. Bruce flew the fighter plane to dodge and fired frantically in return. Da da da. But Doom Day has gradually mastered his newfound abilities, and has become more and more proficient in operating the thermal vision. Soon, bah. The heat line of sight rubbed against the tail of the Batfighter. Oh no. Bruce had no choice but to desperately control and make the Batfighter crash land. The atmosphere, the powerful Clark, seeing the difficulty of the battle for Bruce below, and the destruction day is still absorbing energy, he is a little anxious. I'll have to go to the back of my hand first. With that, he flew down at great speed. Han Chuya is a master of art and bold, and she is relatively calm and calm. After all, it is possible to dive to the ground from an altitude of thousands of kilometers in less than a second. So you can start acting at any time and don't rush. The Batfighter slid after a forced landing on the ground, bump. After hitting a large tree, he stopped, and Bruce was temporarily trapped in the cabin. At this time, Doom Day made a big jump, boom. The ground landed not far in front of Bruce, raising a cloud of dust. Oh, shit. Bruce looked at it in despair. Roar. Doom Sun roared, his eyes lit up, and his hot gaze was about to be released. At this moment, Han Chuya, who was high in the sky, saw this and acted. Without accelerating, the flight speed of Mach 3826 per second starts, and, whoosh, overtook Clark. Clark only felt that there was a flower in front of him, and Han Chuya's figure was out of reach. Han Chuya, who was about to arrive at the battlefield, found that Wonder Woman, who was hiding from the sidelines to watch the battle, had acted. 
so he stopped and hovered several thousand meters in the air. System, there should be a BGM of Wonder Woman in the mall to buy. Of course there is, but there is no need to buy it, there is an artificial intelligence Skynet gift. A little conscience. Skynet, the live broadcast room is ready to play Wonder Woman's BGM. Yes, Master. Han Chuya communicated with the system and Skynet for less than a millisecond. Bruce's eyes lit up when he saw Doom Day, and he subconsciously raised his arms to block his head. Roar, the Destruction Day heat site is issued. BGM sounds. Wonder Woman appears. A figure jumped in front of Bruce, crossed his hands in front of his chest, and blocked two hot lines of sight with the bracers on his wrists. Two Realms Live Room. It's over, who will save Batman? Quote question mark question mark quote. Why is there a BGM ringing? Quote. Doomsday stopped attacking, and seemed surprised that someone could block its hot sight, and the masters. Bruce lowered his arm and saw a somewhat familiar figure in front of him. He had investigated her information before, had seen a picture of her during World War II, and the two had a relationship. Wonder Woman. Bruce praised in his heart. Live room. Oh. This is the hero. Comes with BGM when you come out. It's like a heroine. It's too burning. Goddess. It's so handsome. Quote. Anyway, who put this BGM? A Wonder Woman let out a loud shout, leaning forward and slamming her arms. Boom. A wave of powerful energy struck the Day of Doom, and it grabbed the ground with one hand, and was shaken back more than 10 meters, and the ground plowed out a ravine. But it quickly stabilized its body and didn't seem to be affected much. At this moment, a sonic boom suddenly sounded, and a figure crossed the sky, attacking the doomed sun at great speed, touch. Clark. Swooped down from the sky and knocked the huge doomed sun flying. Doom sun's body crashed into the forest, boom. Immediately. A huge fire burst into the sky, causing a forest fire. Oh. Superman isn't dead. He's back. I knew it. Seeing this scene, many people in the 600th world cried with excitement. Clark was suspended in the air, and the flames from the explosion illuminated his figure. That's cool. Oil prices are going to go up. No, don't you care about the more serious issues. This monster seems to be getting stronger again, it can absorb energy. A viewer said worriedly. Whatever, Superman is too handsome to fight this time, and he will definitely be able to defeat it. Great. Superman is back, and Supergirl should be fine. Gotham City. Knowing that Doom Day was not dead, Louise hurried to find the kryptonite spear she had thrown into the water earlier. Just as she was about to dive underwater, a red figure flew in, it was Tony. Miss, do you see a green spear? Tony flew over and searched for a long time but didn't find the kryptonite spear, and at the prompting of Jarvis, he found that Louise seemed to be in a hurry to find something, so he hurriedly followed. Sir, that's Superman Clark's girlfriend. Jarvis prompted. Who are you? Louise was a little nervous. Don't be nervous, I'm a friend of Superwoman, I'm here to find a kryptonite spear to deal with Doom Day. Tony explained. I threw it into the water before, and I was going down to look for it. Louise said. Is it here? I'll go down and look for it, and my armor will be waterproof. Quote. While Doom Day was not over, Clark flew up to Bruce. Do you still have a kryptonite weapon? No, but someone is retrieving the broken spear in Gotham. Bruce replied. Roar. Doom roared and seemed to be drawing new power. This thing is absorbing energy again. Wonder Woman Diana said in a serious tone. The two walked over and stood next to Diana. The three stood in a line, ready for battle. This thing is from another world, mine. Superman said. Wonder Woman Diana pulled out the sword behind her back. I've killed things from other worlds before. Clark. Turned to look at Bruce, she's your companion. Bruce. Was stunned for a moment, I thought she was with you. Doom Day began to evolve again, and it became even louder. The people of the two realms watched this scene in shock. I saw that its huge body was surrounded by dazzling yellow lightning, and its body was obviously larger. Boom. When the evolution was complete, a huge shockwave of energy spread out in all directions. Bruce hurriedly ran away and found cover to dodge. Superman stood motionless, unaffected. Wonder Woman raised one leg and bowed back, while raising her round shield in front of her. The two faced the shockwave head-on and stood firmly. After the shockwave has passed. 
A Wonder Woman let out a shout, her legs like powerful springs, and she lunged forward, one of them turning over and leaping towards Doom. Not to be outdone, Superman took off at great speed and followed closely. Doom's son punches Wonder Woman, who dodges lightly, turns and strikes Doom's son on the leg with her shield counter, causing her to fall backwards on her feet. Superman took advantage of the momentum and flew in and slammed it to the ground with a heavy punch. Boom. Wonder Woman and Superman seize the opportunity and chase after them. I saw Wonder Woman leap up high, holding a sword straight down from the air, intending to pierce Doomsday. Doomsday hurriedly rolled out of the way, letting Wonder Woman's longsword pierce the ground. Superman flies up and can be knocked away with his powerful fists by the extremely fast Doomsday. Batman ran out of kryptonite bullets and could only watch the fierce battle anxiously from the sidelines. Participating in a battle of this level with his mortal body would have injured him even in the aftermath. The battle is getting more and more stalemate. Wonder Woman grows more and more fierce in battle, and does not flinch at all in the face of the mighty Doom Day. However, Doom Day can absorb energy, and the strength seems to grow stronger in battle. Superman and Wonder Woman teamed up to win. Batman racked his brains to think of countermeasures, but he could only be anxious, why hasn't the kryptonite spear come yet? Heavenly Han Chuya was very happy. The stronger the Doom Day, the more points she will earn for defeating it. System, can I keep taking Doom Day points? Of course not. The system decisively refused, according to the plot of the movie, it has mainly evolved three times, and you can get a maximum of three points from it, with a maximum of 150,000 each time. The system is not interesting enough, you have no conscience. It's because the system is so good, you're getting more and more stubborn. Han Chuya cast her gaze back to the ground and saw a familiar red and blue figure suddenly appear in the sky, it was Tony. Bruce, I brought the kryptonite spear, who would be better to take it to assassinate Doomsday? Tony asked. Superman noticed the situation here and hurriedly flew over. Let me come. As he spoke, he took two kryptonite spears and flew towards the Day of Doom. The kryptonite radiation made him uncomfortable, but Superman gritted his teeth and roared towards Doom. Ah. Doomsday opens Wonder Woman with a punch and sees Superman flying, and it also grabs the two severed spears in Superman's hands with both hands. Its strength is greater than that of Superman, and it took a severed spear from Superman's left hand, and was about to stab Superman in turn. Superman's face changed, but soon his expression became determined, and he snatched back another spear with both hands, preparing to fight Doomsday. Ignoring the blow that Doom's son stabbed at him, he stabbed it with a broken spear in both hands. Doom Day should have almost upgraded to 150,000 points. At the critical moment, Han Chuya fell from the sky and swooped down in a straight line at a speed of more than 1,000 kilometers per second. Bang, smashing Doom's son deep into the earth with a single punch. Superman Clark was affected by the radiation of kryptonite, gasped and said, I'm afraid you won't be able to come to support, now you are the strongest combat force on the surface. Quote. Put down the kryptonite spear, leave it to me here. Han Chuya said. Wonder Woman walked to the place where Doom Day had fallen into the ground, and when she looked down, she saw an unfathomable hole. It was pitch black inside, and Doom Day was not visible. Turning his head and looking at Han Chuya in shock, if only you had come over earlier. Quote. Be careful, this monster won't die easily. Batman had already retreated far away, reminding loudly. Tony also flew over, his helmet was withdrawn, his face was revealed, and he said excitedly, Idle, that punch just now is so handsome. With you, the earth is full of security. Marvel. Universe, Nick Fury, who was leisurely drinking coffee and watching the live broadcast, saw Tony's figure and squirted out. Maha FAQ. Isn't this Tony? Why did you follow Superwoman across the world? You, Iron Man, are also a member of my shield. Avengers, why don't you report to me when you go to other worlds? Nick. Then thought of something. It just so happens that Supergirl is not being watched by our people. I hope you take the initiative to lurk beside her as an undercover agent, and don't have a heart with her. He. Decided to wait for Tony to come back and talk to him, preferably so that he could keep an eye on Superwoman. Clark, Tony, you get out of this island first, I have a way to deal with it alone, lest the battle spill over to you. Okay. 
Tony trusted unconditionally and believed in Han Chuya's strength, so he flew to Batman's side. Bruce, the richest man in Gotham, Superwoman is going to use a big move, we have to evacuate quickly, or I'll fly with you. Tony held out a hand, and Bruce hesitated, but still held it cautiously. If Tony doesn't fly steadily, he will have to let go and land at any time. Superman also hesitated and decided to leave first. If necessary, fly back to help. Ma'am, shall I take you? Superman looks at Wonder Woman. You don't have to bother, go through my portal. After Han Chuya finished speaking, she drew a golden portal. On the other side of the portal, Natasha and Selina saw their backs appear in the portal in the live broadcast screen. The two were stunned for a moment. Hurriedly turned around. It's so convenient. Tony was the first to go over and said, Come here, don't be shocked, Supergirl has a lot of skills. Several. People entered the portal one after another. Shield. Nick Fury. Fake. Why did Natasha also travel through the world? Quote. You're a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, why are you running around with Supergirl? Roar. The roar of doom was heard from the cave. Good. Upgraded again. The doom sun flew directly out of the hole, and the heat rays shot towards Han Chuya. Han Chuya also sent out a hot ray, directly crushing its rays, and slamming the doom sun down from the sky. Boom. The destruction sun fell hard, and stubbornly climbed into the sky, and rushed straight to Han Chuya in the sky. Han Chuya flew upwards at a faster speed. Some people thought that Han Chuya was going to escape, but the next moment, Han Chuya looked down at the destruction sun flying below, aiming at it in the uninhabited island of Stryker Island, two points in one line. The figure swooped down at great speed and slammed his fist into doom, slamming it into the island. The punch spreads, boom. The shockwave of this punch directly knocked the entire Stryker Island off the earth. The island fell apart in front of Han Chuya, and the sea water surged, stirring up waves dozens of meters high. Han Chuya's strength was far beyond everyone's imagination, and this punch directly destroyed an island, and the power was extremely amazing. The scene was thrilling and shocked everyone. The rest of the scene, Han Chuya, Fiora, Tony, Natasha, Selena. There is also blue fire, which destroys Japanese brand basketball. I'm not going to play, I'll be the referee for you. Natasha said. When Han Chuya heard this, she exchanged a whistle and threw it to Natasha. How do we split up? Selena asked. Wait until I call another person. After Han Chuya finished speaking, she let the system locate Banner's location and opened the passage to the Marvel world. Banner, who was eating at home, was surprised when he suddenly saw a large circular passage appear in front of him. But after seeing Han Chuya and Tony on the other side, he was very happy. Banner was still envious of Tony just now that he could follow Han Chuya to another world for adventures, and he was also very curious about the other world. As a member of the Supergirl Alliance, he has always looked forward to the opportunity to have an adventure with Han Chuya, but he didn't expect this surprise to come so quickly. Banner was a little nervous while excited, but more happy. I will definitely go undercover in S.H.I.E.L.D. in the future. Banner, come here. We need you. Tony greeted. It's coming. Banner was so excited that he hurriedly stepped into the passageway, secretly excitedly watching the magical scene left and right. Welcome new members, Selena greeted with a smile. Banner looked at the crowd with a smile. Did you tell me anything? Tony smiled, and was about to say something, when Han Chuya spoke first. We need the Hulk. Han Chuya used the spiritual magic she learned from Kamataj to invade Banner's consciousness and discover that there were two souls in his body. So began to influence and call out Hulk. Ah Banner began to turn green and swelled. When Hulk came out, he happily slammed his fists into his chest like an orangutan, letting out a deafening roar, roar. Quote. Let's go. Han Chuya drew a portal that led to an uninhabited stadium. Everyone followed Han Chuya into the portal. Hulk danced with his two big hands, grinning and seemed excited. After seeing Hulk come out, Tony put on his armor helmet early. He gave Hulk a thump on the arm and greeted him. Hello, big guy. Han Chuya changed into sportswear, and Fiora also changed her clothes. Both of them are nano suits that can change at will. Tony, you're on the same team as Hulk and Fiora, and I'm on the same team as Selena, that's fair. Han Chuya made a crotch dribble raised her hand and throw, brush. Quote. 
The ball went into the net with unmistakable hollowness. Tony. Please, where you are, which side is the absolute advantage? Tony thought, but it's all about entertainment anyway. One judgment is not enough, I'll work hard, part-time judgment, now I announce the start of the game. Tony didn't talk about martial arts, and then flew over to grab the basketball with his armor. Isn't it? Can you still fly while playing? Selena said. Beep. Natasha whistled, shook her hands, and took a step forward to make a foul signal, walk. Hearing. The start of the game, Hulk, who hadn't come out to play for a long time, was as happy as a child and ignored Natasha. He made a big jump, knocked Tony away, and grabbed the basketball in his hand at the same time. Hulk. Tony hurriedly shouted, we're on a team. Quote. Beep. Natasha whistles again, Hulk hits. Hulk glanced at her and saw that the others didn't pay attention to the whistle, and he didn't care. Forget it, I don't care about you, I'll watch from the side. Natasha reluctantly gave up and continued to blow the whistle. In order to have a sense of experience, Han Chuya suppressed her strength. Then he jumped up and kicked Hulk out of the air, and the basketball in Hulk's hand came out. With a flick of her wrist, Han Chuya passed the day of destruction to Selena. Hulk was not angry, but rushed again with joy. Selena didn't dare to take more when she saw this, so she directly shot a midfield three-pointer. Han Chuya relied on her super observation to see that this ball was very accurate, and she could enter the net hollow without being blocked. Tony quickly caught up and reached for the basketball. Hulk reacted faster, made a big jump knocked Tony away with a punch, and then made a block to fan the ball out at great speed. Hulk. Don't banner. Hulk landed and roared. Fortunately, the quality of the doomsday basketball was very good and it was not shattered by Hulk's strength. The ball flew at breakneck speed towards Fiora, who was next to the basket. Tony was very happy when he saw this scene. It's just right, quickly catch the ball and shoot directly. Fiora saw that Han Chuya didn't move, so she took off to catch the ball offset the momentum of the ball, and then passed it to Han Chuya. Han Chuya easily jumped up under the basket and dunked to score. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Tony's eyes widened, aren't we on a team? Am I a dozen fours? Quote. Wait, I'm the referee, I ruled our team one. Tony exaggeratedly picked up the basketball and announced loudly. Get out. Everyone glared at each other and rushed up to grab the ball. Tony hurriedly flew into the sky, trying to raise a high ball to avoid the robbery of everyone. After playing for a while, Tony was in the worst health and the first to get tired. Phew. Tony flew to the side, don't play, let me rest. Are you going to keep playing? Han Chuya throws the ball to Hulk. Hulk didn't score a point before, and after getting the ball, he made a big jump and slammed it to the basket, directly dunking the basket apart. I'm not playing, I'm going home. Selena said. Jarvis, help me find out whose stadium this is, and then transfer money to him for repairs. Tony said. Sir, you don't have a penny in this world. Jarvis replied. It's okay, I'll pay. Han Chuya said. And order the Skynet system to transfer money directly. The artificial intelligence Skynet responded in the system space. Roger. Master, the transfer has been completed, and the funds of hundreds of millions of bad people have been confiscated, so that your property has not been reduced. Quote. Very good, reward a chicken leg. Thank you, Master, I have generated an electric chicken leg and ate it myself. Skynet said humorously. Selena, don't go yet. Han Chuya hurriedly invited, you see that you are sweating all over your body, let's go to my house to take a bath, the bathroom of my villa is big. Selena was about to say yes, but Han Chuya added, as a member of the Supergirl Alliance, when you go to my house, I will give you a nano suit. Good. Tony swallowed, I'm going to take a shower too. Quote. No. Han Chuya categorically rejected Tony. A few people laughed. Hulk, it's time to go back, I'll take you out for a fight next time. Han Chuya said. The corners of Hulk's mouth opened and a big smile appeared. Hulk. Love to smash things. With that, he slowly turned back into Banner. Seeing Banner return to his original state, Tony said, Banner, let's go find that Batman and go to his house to discuss with him. Oh. All right. Banner was still in a bit of a trance. Han Chuya drew two portals, one leading to her home and the other to Batman's door. 
Han Chuya, Selena, Natasha, Fiora, and Blue Fire entered one after another. Tony and Banner enter the door to Batman's house. Bruce soon learned that the two were coming, and immediately came to the door enthusiastically to open the door. Welcome, too. Please come in and talk. Quote. The portal disappears. Han Chuya looked at Selena and Natasha happily. Her eyes looked at the two of them in turn. She was very happy, and proposed, why don't the three of us take a bath together? The two looked at each other. Han Chuya added, nano suit. Selena thought for a moment and said, she's so beautiful, and we won't suffer. Indeed. Natasha nodded. The two decided to follow Han Chuya. Han Chuya was very happy, and the three girls happily took a bath. The large bathroom soon became a white mist, and the occasional sound of laughter could be heard. Well, let me check your body. Han Chuya showed a sly smile, and her hands suddenly struck the chests of the two. Ah the two exclaimed in surprise and hurriedly dodged, but they were still a step too late. Han Chuya's speed was too fast, and she grabbed the soft breasts of the two of them. The two hurriedly hugged their chests and tried to block it, but they were still a little slower. Han Chuya didn't leave her hands, and said with a smile, You are thin and malnourished, so you have to eat more papaya to make up for it. Quote. Selena, let's go up together and touch back. Natasha gritted her teeth and grabbed Han Chuya's hand on her chest with both hands. Well, she's bigger than us, and we're taking advantage of it. Selena also grabbed Han Chuya's claws with both hands. Natasha's legs lifted out of the water, gripping Han Chuya's steel waist like scissors. Selena flew directly with her long legs and lifted it out of the water, directly clamping it towards Han Chuya's neck. Seeing this, Han Chuya stopped her movements, and pretended to be angry. You guys are too much, Selena, you are a little wild. I've seen you all underneath. Quote. Punish her with force, Selena said disapprovingly. Han Chuya grinned and entangled with the two. The three girls were playing a little crazy, and the water splashed in the bath. I was wrong, don't. Ha ha ha. The three of you went back and forth, and after playing for a while, they finally stopped and rested. Selena said, if you don't wash it, you'll be a bully. Selena walked out of the bath, and the water droplets on her body did not have time to dry, but gradually dripped down, and her long legs became more and more attractive. Let's go, I'm tired of taking a shower with you. Natasha looked at the radiant Han Chuya and ran out naked. Two women wiped the water stains on their bodies with towels in their hands. Han Chuya also walked out, activated her super speed, and wiped the two of them dry in an instant, not forgetting to touch a few more handfuls in the middle. Ah Selena's legs and Natasha's body were red. All right, to be fair, it's time for you to serve me and dry me off. You're so bad, I have to change my clothes first, what about the clothes? Selena looked around. I don't have any clothes here. Han Chuya said confidently. I'm really convinced, you have such a big villa, and you don't even have a single dress. Han Chuya teleported and took away the clothes that the two of them had taken off before and put them in the system space. I've got your clothes in store, wipe them off and dry them. Han Chuya smiled at the success of her plan, you can wear the nano suit. You're not a serious superhero anymore. If you let fans know that you are such a person, you will lose fans like crazy. Natasha joked, picked up the towel, and walked towards Han Chuya. Just don't let you know, my goddess image can't be ruined. Han Chuya said, adding inwardly, otherwise, I won't gain much prestige. I'm going to take advantage of it. Selena picked up the towel and wiped the water droplets on Han Chuya's body vigorously. The two surrounded Han Chuya, one squatted down, the other stood up, and wiped in unison. Work harder, it's boring to wipe someone's body, and it's still not the superhero Catwoman. Han Chuya deliberately stimulated. Ah. H. Selena was furious and wiped it with all her might, especially when she wiped Han Chuya's two balls, she was particularly ruthless. However, Han Chuya didn't feel the slightest. She smug at the two of them. Ding. Remind the host that the system can be upgraded, whether it can be upgraded. The system beep sounded suddenly. Huh. There is actually an upgrade prompt this time. Han Chuya had a conversation with the system in her heart. You used to upgrade silently, but this time you can choose your own time to upgrade. Yes host, this upgrade is expected to take about 10 days. Do you want to start now? The system replied. 
10 days, just the right time. Then start leveling up now. Han Chuya decided. Ding. After receiving the instruction, the system began to upgrade. After a while, the two girls also helped Han Chuya dry herself. Han Chuya handed them the battle suits. Finally finished their work, and the two women happily took the nano suit and began to try to change their clothes. Natasha changes from a skirt to a tight-fitting combat suit, and also controls Nano to form a sharp knife in her hand. It works, she exclaimed, waving the knife in her hand with excitement in her eyes. Selena also controlled Nano to conjure a whip, and she flicked it, and the whip arced gracefully through the air. Yes, it's nice to be able to disguise and weapons at will. Selena said happily. After some research, the two conjured up a light pajamas. Where do we sleep? Selena asked. Let's sleep together, I only have a big bed here. Han Chuya proposed, with cunning in her eyes. Believe you, a ghost. But it can't be helped, the villa does only have a big bed. When the three of them came to the bedroom, Han Chuya happily threw himself on the big bed, sat in the middle with both hands propped up, and looked at the other two with a smile. Natasha and Selena stood by the bed, and Han Chuya immediately manipulated the two of them into nano suits into black silk made suits. Why don't you just dress and sleep? Han Chuya said with a smile. Han Chuya. Natasha exclaimed, a look of disbelief on her face. No way. Selena was equally surprised, she looked at Natasha, and the two looked at each other. Can you control our nano suits? Is the priority also higher than ours? We seem to have been tricked. The next morning, a ray of sunlight shone on the three people at the bedside. The two girls were too tired from playing with Han Chuya last night, and they fell asleep deeply. Han Chuya woke up and looked at the sunlight coming in through the window, the sunshine is so good. He looked back at the two sleeping women beside him, but did not wake them up. Han Chuya changed into a supergirl costume, quietly opened the window, floated out lightly, and flew towards the sky. In less than a second, it flew into the atmosphere and looked out over the globe. In the early morning of the rising red sun, only Han Chuya enjoyed this alone time. She took a deep breath, feeling freedom and energy. Han Chuya activated her super brain, imagined the appearance of the sun, and then raised her hand to draw a portal. For portal magic, the stronger the user, the farther away the portal can be opened. It just so happens that my strength is enough. This portal leads directly to the surface of the sun. Han Chuya muttered to herself. The moment the portal opened, a heat wave of up to 5,500 degrees Celsius hit. But for Han Chuya, this heat wave made the cells in her whole body feel as if they were about to stretch out. Han Chuya flew into the portal and floated on the surface of the sun. The body immediately began to absorb the sun's energy frantically, and every cell in the body was cheering, and the cells wanted to moan in comfort. Surrounded by gurgling and burning hydrogen, it is constantly fusing and diffusing with terrifying heat. The temperature here is several thousand degrees Celsius, and anything that ordinary matter touches here will be wiped out in an instant. Beneath your feet is the heat that flows, like a furnace on earth, but on an even more terrifying scale. Flames are churning all around, and the thick heat like an aurora is tumbling in the air, making people feel like they are in hell. Below is the scorching core of the sun constantly erupting outwards with energetic particles and light. These rays of light pass through the Earth's atmosphere to form the sunlight that humans see. And now, Han Chuya was on top of this scorching core, like a tiny human standing on the edge of a raging volcanic crater. Just stay here for 10 days. Han Chuya looked at the surrounding scene with satisfaction and began her retreat cultivation on the surface of the sun. Bruce's underground secret base. Tony and Banner are staying at the Bruce house these days. Bruce, after Banner and I upgraded your bat suit, it won't be bad to use. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.